Good evening, Geek Nation. I'm George, and this is That Geek Show, the show where we talk about the latest and greatest from the world of collecting movies, video game, TV, and tech. And with me, as always, to break all this stuff down is my brother from another mother, Calvin, the statue fanatic. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? How you doing? Doing good, bro. How you doing? Good. Some asshole already gave us a thumbs down, though. The show hadn't even really? started. Yeah. Damn. All right, well. All right, we can't, we can't stop it. We can't stop it, bro. You know, some people go batshit crazy like like Daenerys on dragons, I guess. They want to just keep giving us them down. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also in the house, we got the king of pop himself, Seth. What's up, bro? Hey. <laughs> What's popping, everybody? God, you guys fucking suck, you know? <laughs> Try to make a joke and just fucking falls flat. It's fucking Well, now it's people. funny. Be happy. <laughs> Be happy. I'm Be happy. Be cheerful. Very happy to see you, Seth. Life is good. God is great. Let's go. Woo. We're getting <laughs> preached at today. Yeah. All right. All right, man. Also back hanging out with us is the Statue Stallion. What's going on there, bro? What's up, my peoples? How's everybody doing? How you doing, Junior? Good, good. How's everybody are? Right? How's everybody doing? It's good. Good. You seen good. any game yet? Huh? You seen any game yet? Nah. Nah. No. 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 I'm not going to see it for a little while. But I'm okay. It is what it is, you know? Can't, can't see them all, man, you know? But, uh, yeah, just uh, been watching some Game of Thrones. So I'm not going to talk about it, but, yeah, I've been uh, seeing that thing. <laughs> I know Daenerys is going bananas. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, uh, I don't want to do any spoilers, so I don't want to say too much. So, all right, all right. You know? You know we so. got the uh, connoisseur comments in the house. What's up, Chad? Yo, what's going on, guys? Once again, super, super excited to geek out with everyone. With the panel and everyone in the chat, so thank you. Get That's this show on the road tonight. Yeah, man. Let's do this shit, man. Let's do it. So we got the 9,000 subscriber giveaway today. We broke through 9K oh, pretty damn fast. I'm excited stop, about that. Man. Even more excited to get to 10,000 subscribers. How many people we got in the chat right now? Because my, my phone don't update too We've quickly. got about 47 people, 48 watching right now. Nice. And then let's do our normal uh, chat rundown. Go for it. <clears throat> Go. Hold on. <clears throat> Got to clear the throat. Here it go. Here I'm gonna the camera. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we've got Lazy Lover. Lazy Lover. We got Mashari. We got Pinche Baracho. We got Vic. Vic is saying, "What's up, sexual chocolate?" <laughs> <laughs> we got Roy. Roy's in the house. What's up, Roy? We got Roger Heller. We got Candyman. We got uh, Ronald. Let's see who else we got. We got Travis. We got David David Zerto. We got uh, Jesse Hernandez. Sugar Bear. What we got? We got Archangel. We got Emperor Emperor Collector. We got AJ one eight seven. We got Edwin Diaz. We got Aragon. We got Brian. We got Hungry Hazard. We got Terrell Reed. Skittles Freak. A bad. I'm back, sucker. We got Freddie Rodriguez. <laughs> Remember that movie. We got Wines Collectibles. I think it was I'm Gonna Get You, Sucker. I'm gonna Whatever. Get you sucker. Yeah. I'm yeah. back, Sucker. Whatever. I like the name, too. I love the name. I know. Yeah. We got Freddie Rodriguez. <laughs> we got Edwin Gonzalez Montoya. Thank you all for joining us on this monumental and splendid occasion for the 9,000 giveaway. I think I'm going to change your name to The Preacher, bro. These last couple of things you said there... <laughs> I'm getting the preaching feeling, bro. Listen, I can't help you it know? that I got the Holy Spirit in me right now. Yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> I feel like right. Goldberg and Sister Act. Oh. So, in the 9,000 subscriber giveaway, we got four giveaways that we're giving out. We're going to litter them throughout the show. There is a fifth bonus giveaway that's going down at our friend Collector Zone's channel. So, make sure you head over there and check out that video. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description to get all the details on what to do there. So... Oh, we got a dollar. We got a dollar Ooh. donation for Edwin. Thank Thanks, you, Edwin. 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 Thank you, Edwin. <laughs> See, it's the power of positivity, man. You think positive <laughs> things, you preach positive things. Look what happens. <laughs> we appreciate that, Edwin. All right, man. So let's hear from Chad at Chad's Comic Corner. What's up, Chad? What comments you got going on this week? All right, all right. So last week there was a lot that came out, but I didn't actually get a lot on my end last week. I wound up only. Getting three comics: this Star Wars Boba Fett, Age of Rebellion. This That's is a dope cover. Dope. Oh, sick cover for sure. Yeah. Uh, we also have Captain America number ten. I have Ooh. not been able to read this yet, 
But all the covers have been done by Alex Ross, and this Tennessee Coats run is awesome. I actually been enjoying it a lot, so recommend it to anyone that has not read it yet. And then the third book that I picked up last week, if I can find it here, and I may not have it. Oh, oh here it is. Is Detective Comics 1003, and this is something we were all kind of on. I don't know if anyone's still continuing reading, but this right here reveals who the Arkham Knight is in comic book lore. And this has been still a lot of fun, something I've been enjoying. And you've gotten back to some of that detective work that you guys kind of were missing uh, in that first part, so to speak. So I would definitely tell you, check it out, Calvin. And what's even better is the relationship between Batman and Robin have has been rekindled. And you got yourself some Batman and Damian Wayne Robin going on. So definitely go check that out. But the main thing I want to highlight this week is... An, an event that's going on for an IDW run, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number 93. Now, this is, first of all, one of the, this is the longest ongoing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book they have ever had. So this is pretty cool. Uh, and shout out to IDW for that, because this entire run, I would say, is pretty good from beginning to end. There is some parts that some filler uh, around the 60 number area in the issues, but other than that, you have great things that happen in this issue you, or in this series. You have the death of Donatello, which some people don't know happened. You have the death of Shredder. You have the death of Krang. And right now, in this right here, you have Splinter who beheaded Shredder in issue 50 and becomes the head of the foot. And pretty much as this issue says, City at War, it's starting to go down here as Splinter is the head of the foot. And next to him in the issue before that, you see Shredder's granddaughter, Karai. And she pretty much, you know, stakes her claim, to, you know, for the throne. So that's starting. And plus, you, of course, you have the turtles in the mix. So I'll definitely tell you. No spoilers there, but definitely go check it out if you have it. And the best part is the story continued on New Comic Book Day. And this, I would say, was one of the best New Comic Book Day reads. That's and cool if you cover. did not read it, it continues literally, lit literally right after issue 93, New Comic Book Day. It starts. So go check it out if you have it. Go show some turtles some love if you guys are into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And if you're not completely into the turtles and you love yourself some batman i would definitely tell you go check out the batman team and t turtle run because this issue right here was awesome as well it's a crane multiverse that fuses batman characters and teenage mutant ninja turtles characters so i'll leave that, that so that way you can go figure out what characters get fused together but this will be coming out too, as well so highlight of the week Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, City at War, issue ninety three. Go check it out. So, so Terry, so Terry Scott's comment right now just got me excited because every time my boyfriend walks into a shop and sees a Chrome pop, he stands and shouts out, "I love Chrome in the set voice." So, thanks for that. Listen, <laughs> I have that effect on people. I can't lie. You know why? Because I love Chrome. <laughs> I love all of you guys. <laughs> oh, and I gotta shout out my. Uh... My guy, Biggie Shack, in the chat, he actually <laughs> sent me the gold. So every time he shows up in any chat, I, I, I strap up for Biggie Shack. So. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, man. Yeah, man. It's a, Honestly, this, this storyline is not getting a lot of love, even in the comic book community. Right. And because of that, I actually started a, a show on Thursday night called Turtle Talk on my channel. 90 MF comics and we're literally talking about this run because literally no one is talking about it and the concept behind it is you know is awesome uh, I mean I could go further into details on like how they use like reincarnation with the turtles and splinter and this just so happens to be the forms that they got reincarnated in and how they link up but it's all like you know got it's got this like very traditional like Japanese like samurai like Thing in it and it's 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 awesome man like i i really believe a lot of people aren't reading it and a lot of people aren't talking about it so i'm just trying to get the word out there and there's a lot i've noticed there's a lot of teenage mutant ninja turtle fans as well 
So to how many? You said that it started at issue fifty, and then what? Issue ninety three. Well, no, no. So it's it's issue one. So this is this is the longest ongoing Turtles series. So for instance, when Turtles first came out, I believe it was on like Mirage Comics, and then at a point in time, um, it, I, I think it was on Image. So it's changed, like you know who its publisher has been. Okay. So this specific run right here, the IDW run, it started on issue one, and now they're on issue ninety three. So Damn. this has been the longest ongoing Turtles run to date. Do they have no one, any uh, issues? Do they have so, any omnibuses or anything like that that you could you could get to, yeah, to catch up on all that? Uh, trade backs and definitely there's the deluxe editions. I'm not sure if there's omnis. I think they only do deluxe editions on the turtles. But I will say this: the deluxe editions are very nice, man. The covers are you know are nice and they come with this nice like you know bookmarker, so to speak, that you can you know you know leave when you're you know reading it it's so i would definitely tell you if you want to get yourself the deluxe edition check that out because it's a nice one uh <clears throat> what's awesome about the run is you know eastman is still you know got say on it and he's helped writing it he, he's also doing covers and stuff like that so like he, you have this eastman cover right here which was pretty awesome this is uh issue 44 this was the death of donatello which i mentioned earlier but you got Eastman covers all day on it. Um, right now, what's happened with the death of Shredder, that it's actually spun off a miniseries called Shredder in Hell. And the guy that's actually writing this and drawing this, and the artwork is phenomenal, by the way. It's Mateo Santo Lo Local. And uh, I believe he's a Brazilian writer. Ooh, and, um, I like that cover. Oh, bro, sick cover. Yeah. And uh, this is the, the cover to issue number two right here. So what's cool about like this like mini series? Mm -hmm. This is pretty much you know Shredder in Hell trying to make his way back to like you know actual you know human being form, mm -hmm. so he can of course you know take back the foot from Splinter and all that. Uh, what's cool about this book right here, number one, I think it was low print run. They had you know a few different uh, covers on it, and I did a mystery box the other day, and I actually pulled. This cover out of the mystery box, I was super oh, stoked. Oh, wow. That's dope too. So awesome. yeah, which is a super, super sick cover. Oh, good. So, That's a character we need a statue from, man. We need a shredder. Sh I, yeah, a nice shredder, you know, statue for sure, man. So <coughs> if you're I highly recommend this shredder in Hell Run because the guy writes it and draws it. And this art that you see on these cover is the art that you see in the book because, you know, he's doing the cover too. Nice. This I like guy that. is highly recommended. I would definitely say check this out. And you don't need to really know what's going on, I guess. I mean, they do like a little synopsis in the beginning that will kind of like, I guess, cue you in on where Shredder is, you know, at this point in time. But definitely, you know, check it out. I highly recommend it, especially if you're if you're a Shredder fan, man. If you ever if you ever feel like changing the name of your show to from Turtle Talk, you should change it to Reviewers in a Half Shell. Oh, <laughs> done, done. Uh, what would you th what would you I, think if they make I a movie? That for you, though. What would you think, Chat? If DC makes a movie with uh, Ninja Turtles and Batman? They're oh, they're through. actually doing an animated. Uh, no, not a regular movie like Aquaman. I'm not talking oh, about anime. Oh, live action. Yeah, live action movie. What would you guys would you guys watch it? Of course. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I, those last Turtle movies that came out, like, I just ask the, the brown baking movies, no, but they were entertaining. I thought, you know, and they, I felt like they nailed the, the characters of the Turtles for the most part, you know? So you think a live action movie would, 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 hit, would, would be a good thing for the boxes? For movie uh, I mean, I don't know. That's, I guess it all depends on who's writing it and directing it. So, <laughs> I mean, I would love to see it. <laughs> I am excited for that animated <laughs> series, though. Okay, okay. So the animated series Batman and Team and T movie that they're about to do looks really, really good, and I'm excited to see that. So, hmm. I'm not, I'm not totally sold yet on, on that movie. I mean, I, I saw the trailer to it. I'm like halfway there. I mean, I'm gonna watch it, but I'm not sold yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, those were the two cards. <clears throat> as a kid it was batman and teenage mutant Ninja turtles so when i got into collecting about like five years ago right and i heard that they had a batman and team and t run and i it, it had already started so like i want to say it was like issue four they were on and to, to track down one through three it was a mission but i'm like yo i have to get that and 
that's why I'm like, I was like, yo, they put my two favorite cartoons together. Are you kidding me? So, <laughs> not, to, not to jump from Ninja Turtles or anything, but jo 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 Joseph in the chat just struck a chord with me. <laughs> waiting for the next Howard the Duck movie. You bet your ass I'm waiting for a Howard the Duck movie. I love Howard the Duck. And I still, I don't care what anybody says. I still love the one from the 80s that George Lucas did. So I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for them to come out with, with obviously a newer one, but I'm I'm sure the newer one that they come out with will be more kin kid friendly. I, I'm, than sure, the, I'm sure. Than the one that was in the '80s. Howard <clears throat> Howard the Duck has fond memories with me because I I, I like I liked it as a kid, but I, I've seen it recently. So it's, it's not a good movie, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, not kid, it's not a good movie for kids. It's not a good movie for kids. It's not a good movie. It's just no. Uh, it's, yeah. Listen. It's a good movie. It totally plays on the nostalgia. Okay. Yes, the thing that throws people off might be the interspecies erotica, but still. That's I mean, your favorite part of the movie. I love you, Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but still, dude. The movie you know, the movie was awesome, especially in the beginning when he's like looking at what was it, Play Duck? <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you guys also about the about the Watchmen because they, they had a, a Watchmen uh, speaking of comics that are coming to the to either TV or, or movies, they got a, a Watchmen teaser that just released. Uh, I've seen the movie. I have not read the comics, but I'm, I kind of want to read the comics now just because I'm hearing from multiple reviewers that the comics are worth the read. Oh yeah, absolutely. You agree? You agree with that? Read. Okay. I'm actually interested in watching that. I'm really interested in watching that show. Uh, I I, I want to see. Um, very interested. Huh? I want to see. I think I, to my opinion, I haven't read the comic book for for what I can see through the previews. I'm thinking that something the way the Watchmen start, the way the way it got started. No, I think this takes place afterwards. Afterwards, you're thinking? Yeah, okay. no, it does. It takes place it does, after the afterwards. events of the. I wouldn't say after the events of the movie, but it's definitely after those that whole comic, right? And I, uh, Chad, you know about that, right? Or no? Uh, well, yeah, I guess. I mean, the comic was what twelve issues, and there was, and then they did a few like side story things outside of that. So I guess that's what they're basing the show off of. So what was the guy with the mask that they were wearing in there? He's one of the what, uh, Rorschach? Rorschach, huh? Rorschach? Yeah, but I don't think it was Rorschach. <laughs> no, no, the guy that was the the tough guy. He was always a tough guy with the with the hat. He was with that face that moved around, moved. That's around. Rorschach. That's Rorschach. That is, yeah, that's him. Yeah, because all of them are wearing that that. That face in the in the previews. Hmm. If you notice that the masks are made of, of, out of him, so I don't know why they were in his mask. Yeah, yeah, that's what's the crazy. Watchmen is one of those comics that I think you could read. It's kind of like the Killing Joke joke with Batman. It's is one of those iconic books that just it's okay. one of the best comics out that's ever been written. I think. Well, I'm interested in watching it. I don't know about you Wait. guys, but yeah, I'm interested. So is that supposed big claim, to be? <laughs> is, is that supposed to be Junior, the um, question is, are you movie? interested in reading it? That's what George wants to know. That's not going to stop until I read something. <laughs> so, just, a, just a quick side note, everybody. The Collector Zone is in the chat, so thank you to the Collector yeah. Zone. They also helped uh, donated some of the stuff for the, uh, for the 9K giveaway, so thank you again to the Collector Zone for that. We really appreciate you guys' support. What's up, Marco? What's up, John? John's in the chat too. What's up, Mr. John? Yeah, hey, John's here too. I'm so, just chilling, bro. Chilling, watching. So that Watchmen, so that Watchmen show is that supposed to be a play on the Doomsday Clock comic, or is that no, supposed to be something not. else? I don't think so. No, definitely not. Uh, my buddy, uh, Comic Head eighty four, shout out to Kenny. Thank you for joining us, bro. But he said they found Rorschach's old journal and created a little cult around it. Hence, all yeah. the mask guys. Oh, so that's okay. That's I know he's yeah. a huge. Kenny's a sure. huge Watchmen fan, so if you, okay. he, he he want to, you know, George, if you want to do a review show with that, he would definitely be a guy to have on because you know I've read it. I mean, he's like has read it uh, multiple times. I'll you know, be happy to have somebody on there. So I need somebody to get me to like it because I'll be straight up. I did not like the movie. Like yo, then Kenny's gonna be my sales guy for you on that. I, I need a salesperson. <laughs> I need somebody to tell me that. It's okay, George. The movie sucked, and the comic is good. I'm okay with that. I'm all right with the. I've seen plenty of like, movies. That Calvin, did you story. like the movie? I thought the movie was okay, but I love the comic a lot more, uh, um, much more. Much more. So, <laughs> so is this thing on HBO supposed to be like an original story? I, I think it is. I, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know it's yeah. not well, anything having to do with the comics. So you know, well, it's interesting to watch now that Game of Thrones is gonna be over with soon. So you know, trying to find some new shows to watch. 
Oh. True. That's coming out what the fall though. So we got yeah, 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 yeah. 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 There are some other shows on there that I want to see though. It's making me not. They they got me. It's like they got me with this six short, <coughs> crappy Game of Thrones season that they've been giving me. So I've not been happy with it. And what they did was is they used that as a springboard to show me a bunch of other shows that I'm like, yo, okay, I'd watch that. You know, like Chernobyl. I've been watching that. That is a great freaking TV show. If you guys haven't seen I, that, you yeah, I saw the cuts to that too. The that was good. I, yeah. I personally think. This is the best season of Game of Thrones ever. You know why? Because <laughs> it's over next week and I can move on with my life. Because it's ending, right? It's over and I can move on with my life. Yeah, I'm, lo- I'm looking forward to that that um, Deadwood movie. Deadwood. There's uh, another one yeah, that man, I want to see. Yeah. Like if you haven't caught that, if you haven't caught those um, that series, you should, man. That's that's so. They're, good they're actually making a Deadwood movie from the HBO series. Yes. Yeah, and all oh, the wow. all the characters, all the same characters are back. It's pretty much just closing off where they ended. Oh know, wow. Because remember, like when that series, it seemed to just end abruptly. I guess they didn't. Um, they were supposed to have a new uh, season. I think season four, and they never did. And I think um, what they're doing with this movie is they're just uh, what do you call it? It's you know bringing us right back, all the same characters, and kind of like finishing off the story for us as one one big movie instead of a season. Hmm. Okay. Now, I'm definitely interested in that. There's also another TV show with uh, I think it's John Goodman and. And two other people, and, and they look like they're either con artists or they're, um, or they're preachers or something like that. They they, they look like they're running a, a one of those like Christian uh, TV show uh, things. I, I I forgot the name of the name. Well, of the like tele- what like a televangelist? Yeah, like <laughs> that. Um, it it looked good. The, the the interaction that I saw between the 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 actors. I mean, it seemed funny and uh, it, it looked interesting to me. I just can't think of the name of it at the moment. But you should check that out. It's on HBO. We're going to show the commercial like plenty of times. Is it supposed time. to be a comedy or is it supposed to be a drama? Both. Yeah, it's supposed to have a little bit of both, you know? Like all the all the dramas have a little bit of comedy in it. You so know, it's a dramedy? It, I, don't, I wouldn't classify it as either one. I'll classify it as a drama with funny moments and probably some other stuff that happens. Okay. Well, Red Hot Saints, supposedly George R. Martin has finished both books and has a, has a, a well, close in his contract that he can't release them until the show is over. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But this is the same thing. I think he had finished the show. I mean, the book. Uh-huh. Um, I, I, I think the ending of this one is going to probably be something that they're going to leave you something like hanging. Like there's something going to happen later. Oh, I totally see them doing what they did with the uh, with the Sopranos. Like right when something amazing is going to happen, you think something's going to happen, the screen just goes black and then the credits start to roll. Yeah, that's what they're <laughs> gonna, they, I think they're going to leave it like they're going to leave you. Like, you know, they're going to leave you good, but they're going to know that the story's going to keep on. I don't think, oh. I think the book writer for the Game of Thrones are going to, they don't, I don't think the, the ending that he told him to do is going to be like an ending, a real ending to the show. I think it's just going to leave it in a good note. And then you're going to have to read the book to actually see the ending of Game of Thrones. So Shit, I hope not. that begs the question, JR. Mm hmm. Are you gonna read the book? <laughs> no. I actually, I actually, believe it or not, I actually read. I read the book, but I jumped around on the book. Which book? The Game of Thrones book. I don't know Which that. one? Which there's... one? Yeah, there's a bunch. Well, I just read them on. I go on the phone and I go on the phone encyclopedia of the books and I start reading. And oh, that's, Cliff that's, Notes. That's, Cliff uh, Notes. Oh, dude, yeah, you, uh, you, you yeah, should be uh, 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 Why are we going to be picking on JR? Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah come I'm on. Let's stop that. I'm still movie, reading movie. it. That's why, that's why <laughs> when I was messing with John, that the area dies. And then it Whoa, does, God. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but it's not going to happen in the show, man. Spoiler alert. It's not going to happen in the show. It's going to happen, bro. It's going to happen. But I heard that's false, though, because I heard that George R. Martin's wife said if he ever killed Arya, that she would kill him. Yeah. Still alive. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I read that. So. Archangel says that uh, he keeps looking at Superman behind you. He thinks he's lost his virginity, man. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, well, you know, that's just my thoughts on it. And I'm sorry if I spoiled anything, but that's, you know, you guys always I, get on me for reading, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. I'm almost half tempted to ruin Endgame for you right now. It's already, it's already ruined. I know Iron Man dies. I know. I know. I already know that like Captain America Dude, picks up the hammer. Uh, I already know Captain America, Captain America picks up the hammer. I already know that uh, Captain America leaves and gives it the uh, thing to fuck to whatever his name is. I already saw that stuff. I heard everybody got a good scene fighting each other, the portals and stuff like that. I mean, that doesn't really run to me. Endgame. I think a movie to me as Endgame for spoilers doesn't really run it for me because. 
it's just some good of a effects movie, like action wise. So to me, I still will enjoy the movie. It does not, it's not gonna bother me. Something like John Wick, I don't want to know the ending of that movie because that's kind of oh, different. There's no. What do you, I want to. John, John Wick. John, what? John Wick's gonna kill everybody, bro. That's how that movie's gonna end. Yeah. The, hey, but, you know, hey, still, hey, you just. Know. Uh, Jr. Look what that dude said. He goes, "Wow, fuck you, Jr. I'm out." <laughs> wow, <dude. laughs> My bad. Uh, hey, yeah. Big said, "Hey, John Wick gets his dog back." So how about that? Let's pay that. <laughs> so thanks, bad, to, Ed, dude, dude, even so thanks to Junior. Ed, dude, hold just hold left how so. could how <laughs> could anyone really be mad at Junior about everything he said about about uh, Endgame, bro? It's been like three weeks. Well, so no, no, that's know, not what they're I talking about. I don't think. I think they're talking about his comment with whole Arya dying and that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, not gonna die. Nah, he's back. He's back. He said. Uh, 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 my he bad. Got, he, got, he got that from from uh, what, April Fools. That was like an April Fools joke he read. Bro. He uh, got yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're listening, buddy. Love you, man. I'm sorry, everybody. The 9K okay. giveaway has been put on hold because people just unsubscribed and dropped us below nine thousand. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, Junior probably bad. wasn't even reading uh, uh, anything. He's probably reading like like tabloids or something. That's yeah, where I got no. it from. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, entertainment tonight. Bro. Entertainment tonight is fact. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm sorry. Me too. Oh. So, here we go. All right, raining back in. All right, all right, guys. So why don't we give away something, right? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's break this up. Let's break all this Game of Thrones talk up with some some stuff to give away. All right, hold up. So uh, first gift that we're going to be giving away is the Funko Pop set. This is a movie moment set of uh, this Deadpool versus Cable. This is brought to us by Collector Zone, no less. So you're getting a badass pop. If you don't know and about that zone, you need to get in that zone. Collector yeah. Zone. <laughs> you got, you got to keep on saying that, bro. It is. It's yeah. a good slogan. Until they, Shut your mouth. Until they love it, bro. <laughs> until they love it, right? I know. Forget that it sounds like like AutoZone. Yeah, I mean, AutoZone is set. Yeah, right? yeah, but who can, listen, who gives a shit? I say it. People enjoy it. That's all that matters. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly it, Seth. The voice of the voiceless. I am the voice of the voiceless. <laughs> all right. All right. So, let's see. Boom. All right. So the winner of the uh, Funko Pop moments is the Juggernaut7589. So he writes, congrats on hitting 9K subscribers. My favorite video is of Seth unboxing and reviewing his Endgame Pops. As a fellow collector, it pains me to watch this because I never take anything out of the box. My man Seth does great work and has excellent reviews. Way to go, Seth. Hey, Ooh, congrats. So back you to the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut7589. Hope you're watching this video. I'm gonna also I'm gonna in in the description on this video. By the way, I'm gonna leave the link for you guys to contact us if you were named as one of the winners. All right. So let's keep on going. So why don't we get on to our our topic of the night: collection or addiction? Oh, oh really? God. It's a horrible. <laughs> oh my God. I know. You you really that. Topic. You you topic. That. Let the, you yeah. put that in. Come on, man. Hey, man. That that was the that was the topic that came on. My brother oh, chose the topic, by the way. So don't get on my case about it. You got to hear. Oh, you got to put that to John. Yes, oh. John. Oh my <laughs> God. Now, now I'm not gonna hear hey, you. Actually, That's a I'm alright with the topic. I like the topic though. I, I like the topic too, but that was a lot of crap. I think it's a good topic, bro. I like the topic. But I kind of feel like John is judging us when he brought this topic up. You know, he's like collection or addiction, and like let's talk about that. It's like. It's like, cause my, you know, dad always makes fun of me, bro, saying that I don't got hobbies and shit. Like, what kind of man doesn't have hobbies? And, and I mostly have vices, so I was more or less, you know, like, when does this hobby of yours become more of a vice? You know, so I wanted to hear, hear from, from, um, from your guys' perspective. So I figured out it. It's better. I'm gonna tell you something. It's better than a drug addiction. Yeah, I mean, it depends. Depends on the drug. But cocaine's a hell of a drug, bro. Good <laughs> job. There you go, man. So there's the question. Let's start it off, man. Uh, Calvin, you go for it. Oh, what? No, I don't want to yeah, go man. for it. Yeah, man. Yes, you're going to go for it. You answer. Go. Oh, you said addiction or? No, John asked the question, actually, so you already you already got, got ahead of me. Uh, oh, wow. When does um, it become a vice? I... Has it become a vice? <laughs> it has not. It has not become a vice. I think, I for me, it hasn't. I, I just, uh, I've kind of, we talked about this last week, though. Remember, we, we, we talked about... Um, Quite a bit of this, and oh, you whether got, or not this statu- you're talking team. about sat- saturation, bro. And 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 I get like we were all we were all talking about the saturation topic, and you know that you know too many things are coming out. The prices, the 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 price point is getting higher, and the the uh, addition size is getting too large. 
So that was mainly what George was talking about last week. So this one's more of like, you know, so obviously I think right now none of you guys feel like your hobby is an addiction, except I know you guys feel that way about Junior. But I'm curious from, you know, from anybody in the collective, like if when would you say that if you're a collector, you know, you guys, I know you guys have large uh, collections, but when would you guys even say, man, bro, I think your collection is now starting to become an addiction. Like, what, I, don't, yeah. I don't think it's... I can start with that I, if you want. Yeah, Let me yeah, just say go. this one thing. Because he cut me off. Let me finish this. I don't think that the amount of statues that you have determine whether there's an addiction or anything like that. I'm just... I mean, when you start just, like, not paying bills and you start, you know, well, some of us still lie, lie to our significant others and say we use points. But, um, yeah. but some you know, people, when, it right? gets, when it gets to that point, maybe then that's an addiction. But I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Mm. I'll go ahead, Chad. All right. So, to what kind of to piggyback off what Calvin said, I mean, of course, I always take care of my bills first. I mean, I would not buy anything if my bills weren't taken care of first. But yes, can I say that I have an addiction without a doubt? Because I've been now collecting and reading comics for five years, like going to the comic book shop every Wednesday for five years. And if I don't go on a Wednesday, I feel weird. <laughs> and i can honestly say that like i'm like wow like i couldn't go get my books today like i want to read what came out and if i have to go on a friday like it's still like all right you know it's so i still was able to go and get it but i can honestly say when i don't go on wednesdays to pick up my books like for sure i feel like i didn't get my fix you know and i can say yeah yeah i probably i have an addiction to comics and i guess i'd rather yeah, have this six. type of addiction you know than to you know having other types of addiction but that doesn't mean i don't have other hobbies and interests like for instance as you guys i mentioned before i'm in a band you know i play bass and stuff like that and then i i play soccer at least two to four times a week so every saturday and sunday morning i'm out playing soccer and that's you know that's addicting as well you know yeah. I, can, I have a super you know addictive of personality if i get a bite of something and i like it for sure i'm gonna go it's either all or nothing you know so and that might just be my personality so Chad says he's a well he's a well rounded addict. Man. Addict. I feel like uh, I feel like saying like uh, what was it uh, from what Frankie said like Bob Saget in uh, Half Baked. You know, yeah. comics three ninety nine. Boo this man. <laughs> three ninety nine for comics. Boo this man. You don't know what it's like to drop money on comics. <laughs> you ain't giving head for comics. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm sure Chad. I'm sure you probably dropped. Um, you know, on like some of those graded comics you get, I'm sure you probably drop some coin on that. Uh, actually, I, I actually, the most I've ever spent on one comic book is I want to say like hundred and hundred and five dollars. That's not bad. Like I, I, I really try to like bargain and like try to find things, you know, on deals and try to find people sleeping and stuff like that. I mean, and I have some grails. I have some grails that are worth some money for sure. But I can honestly say the most I've paid for a book, I think is like $105. But, and you know, I have a new mutants 98. I have, you know, X-Men 94. I have, you know, for, you know, Batman 655, you know, for, I have Batman first red hood. So, I mean, Killing joke. I, I just try to find things on deals. I don't know. That's like that's my gimmick. There's nothing wrong with that. So Seth yeah. over there is avoiding the topic. He doesn't want to admit that he's a. He's oh a no, addict. I'm a full blown hey, hey, addict. Myself. I'm, I'm a full blown addict. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna well, lie. I mean, and you know what else? I'm a, a, an addict too. And this is for sure, especially as a comic book collector, is the hunt. The hunt. Like, that's what I was gonna say. I said the same when, thing. When, okay. Like, and there's nothing better than like finding it. And Seth, you know this too. Oh. When you put something on your list. And you yeah. go out, and you can't find it, and then there's that day that you do find it. So, yeah. So yeah. like you were like you were saying, like every Wednesday you hit the comic, you hit the comic book store, you know, and that's just like me. Every Saturday you can expect me to be running around town trying to find what I want. I mean, you know, I've been doing this for almost three years already. I mean, it's like it's it it's it wouldn't be a normal Saturday if I didn't go out and go pop hunting i mean it it's just a part of me it's way of life it's second nature now you know it, it overtakes a lot of um a lot of a lot of my time um you know but again like chad always says you gotta you gotta catch people while while they're sleeping i mean i've gone into some of these places and i've gotten 
pops that, again, that they only show up once in a lifetime. And have I spent the money? Sure. But knowing the fact that I, I found it and I got it and other people were sleeping on it, yeah, it makes it, wor- it, makes it worth it, like Chad said. Yeah, I get that. No, I like Ma- Maxwell's comment. He said uh, Calvin's addicted to the gym, bro. Show them, <laughs> show them by. Show them guns, bro. That gun show. Right. I mean, hey, I think you all got an – I think almost everyone in the chat's like, yo, yep, I'm an addict. I'm an addict. Hey, they're all co signed on it. So you should guys should just be like, yo, create a new T-shirt, bro. Addict and proud, bro. Yeah, for, yeah. for sure. <laughs> you know, if, if you want to know, John, I can tell you probably the day that I realized that I was an addict. It was Spider-Man anniversary edition. No, no, no. I can't pin a point like for <clears throat> that day, but I just remember like talking about my collection and someone's like, oh yeah, like I'm like, oh yeah, I you know, I think I have about like twelve short boxes. And then when I went home and counted and it was like eighteen, I was like, Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, I, 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 it, I'm an addict. Like that's I'm an addict. Calvin got two rooms, bro. Two rooms of statue. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so the premise is this, you know, it's not that I guess addict isn't bad. Okay, so all right, I'm an addict. Yeah, no, addict, addict ain't bad, bro. No, there's nothing wrong with being an addict. No, I'm, I, I will. I, I'm addicted to collecting. Yeah, man. I mean, I've gone from action figures to you name it so yeah absolutely so oh, so george i think we should pose the question better i like i like uh uh, uh chad's comment when did you realize you were addicted because we are apparently y'all addicted <laughs> so edwin though. so edwin diaz asked a really good question seth when will when will be enough do you think you'll ever stop will you finish up lines or can or continue so i when it comes to pot when it comes to certain lines yes i want to finish I want to finish them. Like behind me, you guys can see right here. Like I have the original, the original Avengers, the first Avengers movie pops. I have all of them, with the exception of um, the San Diego Comic Con Loki. Well, that's a fifteen hundred dollar pop, and that's something that, again, one of those pops that you rarely ever come across. Would I like it? Yes. Would I spend fifteen hundred dollars on it? Well, do yes. I want to sleep on the streets of the rest of my life and try to explain that to my wife? Don't know. But you know, but it, yeah, I, I get what I get. What you're, I, get <laughs> I, I get what you, I get. What you're saying, man. It, it there, there. I do finish. I do have some lines that I have finished. Like I have all the Chrome Chrome Batman's. I have all the first Marvel ten years. I have all the Chrome, you know, Thanos's. I have the whole the whole of Avengers Affinity War line. And right now, I have all the Avengers Endgame pops. I mean, you know, there are specific lines that I personally enjoy collecting. Now, as far as other things. I usually most of the time I usually just grab the ones that I like. So, <clears throat> but I will always continue to do this for as as long as my wife allows me to. This is the best way. This is the best way to sum that up. <laughs> so uh, you know, so so yeah, man. I hope that answers your uh, your question. <clears throat> so when when the question uh, before that was when what was it, John? <laughs> it was when did you when? know you were first uh, you first were an addict. I'm, I'm, yeah. When did you realize? When you know you were first addicted. All right. Wrong. I think when, I think when I was for, when I got first addicted is when I found my first chase in the wild, um, which was a. Um, I was still just early in the early in the early stages of collecting, um, and I found a WWE um, Finn Balor. Uh, Finn, uh, it's up there somewhere. A uh, Finn Balor chase, and I remember. This is still when I was new to Pops. I remember walking in Toys R Us when they were still open. We miss, we miss you, Toys R Us. Rest in peace. So, um, you know, um, I walked in, and I'm looking around, and I see the pop section, and I'm like, huh, I wonder what that yellow sticker means. So, of course, I pull it up. I Google it on my phone, and it and it says that it's a one in six uh, variant. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, let me grab it. So I grab it. I get it. It's, I paid, like, 10 bucks for it. I get home, and I post a picture of it on Facebook and Instagram, and, like, everybody starts losing their shit, like, oh, my God, I can't believe you found the chase. You found the chase. And I'm like, okay, maybe I need to go out and find more chases. And then that's when I know I hit rock bottom. <laughs> and, dude, yeah. and dude says, I was addicted to, uh, who was it that said when he thinks about it during sex? Ar- really? Archangel. Archangel, that was the best comment I read so Ooh. far, bro. What did you say? Yeah, I, was, I, re- I knew I was addicted when I was thinking, when I think of my collection during sex, bro. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, boy, man. <laughs> Yo, that, deserve, that comment deserves a t-shirt, man. We need to uh, yeah, it does. T-shirt. Archangel, yeah. boy, make sure you you find me. I'll get you a shirt for that comment. 
Shout out to wow. Batman Statue Collector and Jim Mint. Yeah, man, yeah. Shout out to the group. So I just want to give a quick note. We got 101 people watching right now. Damn. So nice. Woo. Woo. Breaking 100. Yeah, yeah. Jo- Joseph's comment. I was an addict when I was willing to pay $400 in shipping to New York. I like a, I like, a, I like Amanda's <laughs> comment. If it brings you pleasure and you can't afford it, then just collect. Do it. But in parentheses, do it. she has do it. So I'm going to have to do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, do, it. Do, it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. I think do I like Chad, bro. Like, I'm, I'm addicted more to the hunt and getting boxes of stuff that I know I'm going to unbox than the actual unboxing anymore. You know, that got, used to be that used to be for me when it was a challenge to get something. Now yeah. it's not. You can just get anything you want now. See, but I got to see, but I got a question when it comes to that comment, George. And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to call you out or anything, but oh, oh, obviously he is because he, no, he says yeah. that. No, 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 yeah. no, no. You guys, go. you guys collect. You guys collect statues. You guys don't go out and hunt statues. You just go online. You just go online and buying them. It's not like okay, you're driving. But that's because you're, you're not going to go. You're not going to be able to go to a Walmart or a FedEx or or a Dunkin' Donuts and find a <laughs> find a statue. <laughs> right? yeah, that's that, that's yeah, the yeah. thing with pop figures that you guys have. You guys can walk into a random bathroom and probably find a, a guy selling you pop figures. Well, in the bathroom. well, SJR about oh, Ghost Rider, right? That was a that was that's a, a uh, hunt. that's a hunt. That was a hunt. I was a hunt. Same thing with the Green Goblin that I was trying to get from Calvin, but I didn't get that hunt. So yeah. I'm that one now. But you know, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, I, I, I feel you hunt, you hunt pieces that you need, and you can't find them. I mean, yeah. I can almost relate Seth to them on the hunt in the sense where I mean, yeah, I have a comic book shop, so I can go hunt that way. So I always have that problem, right, Calvin? Yeah. But uh, for instance, when I shop on eBay, you still I still hunt. For instance, the good deal. You know, and you constantly have to look and try to find someone that has, you know, enough pictures or get enough pictures and, you know, has a price and to negotiate. And I can't speak for trying to, like, hunt someone down that collects statues So because I can only imagine you have to be in so many groups and forums and probably post stuff or look and ha- look for postings and stuff like that. So I can see where the hunt online can be, you know, a hunt because it's not like you have a, a store in your backyard that you can go to. So... I don't want to like dodge their hunt on that because I, yeah. trust me, man. I've tried to <clears throat> I try to hunt down books that you can't find in stores online and just try to find them at good prices, you know. And that's hard sometimes. You know? Mark, Mark Marco says pop is a crack rock and the statue is the eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, but really though, it's like you're you're not. It's hard to find statues out in the wild, like what like what you say, you know. And then when they're in a store, the the markup in those stores. Oh, it's huge, huge. crazy. Yeah, it's huge, crazy high. So yeah. your best options when you're looking for something like our hunting is like finding a, a really rare deal on eBay or the Facebook groups or even Instagram sales. Sometimes you might find something. But um, yeah, it's it's not easy. I like Red Hood's comment. I want Sideshow to start making a half hybrid Funko Pop half statue. <laughs> <laughs> That's until Junior opens his store, man. I hope he, you actually do oh, that one day, Junior. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Christ. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. Why Don't you got to go do that, that? Chad? No, for hey, real. Hey, I think you appreciate it, Jack. No, that's legit. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, no, no. as a comic book collector, I have a place no, that I can no. go to, and I can only imagine no, if no, there was no. a place that had statues, you know, and that people could go to. Like that would be awesome. So, like, I don't like. Is, and that's a dream. Like, I hope one day that could happen. Like, thank you, appreciate that. I mean, you know, yeah, so like, 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 collect, like collectors. Mm. Let's let's get off the subject, guys. You know, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. We got we got one out there right now. We you know we just need a few more. Just just keep the question and they'll come to me because I'm not I'm not I'm not an addict. So let's move it. (laughs) (laughs) I forget forget, forget who wrote who wrote it. I forget who wrote it in the in the group. But they're like, I'm not I'm a collector, not an addict. (laughs) (laughs) Jeff did say like the first stage is denial, right? Right, I mean, someone so said funny. I need to start with like my my addictions. I'm like, I, I got I don't have hobbies. I got vices. Like all the things I like doing are not good for me. <laughs> so, just, just, but that doesn't mean they're not they're not addictions in a sense. Um, just, they're, they're not addictions in the sense that you know I don't feel like I like anything really. I have to do anything. I could pretty much stop anything I do. But all the stuff I do, like you know, I smoke weed. You know. I can stop when I want to, you know, I, I gamble. That ain't good for me. If I gamble too much, that's bad. But I enjoy it and I do it. You but know, you but know, I everyone that collects is the same thing, though. Like, yo, like, I, I could stop whenever I want it. You know what I mean? You say that, and then you get 
thirteen instead of eight bo- uh, boxes. No, of, uh, hey, I'm not. You know, I, I'm not denying my addiction too. <laughs> <laughs> here's, 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 prime, prime, to, you know. here's prime example. Okay. Um, oh, I knew when Seth Melissa, was addicted. Ma- Ma- Melissa, <laughs> Melissa, you know, Ma- you know, you know, Melissa's like, hey. You really need to. She was texting me this morning. I can show you guys the text. She's like, "Hey, she's like, you need to slow it down a little bit." She's like, "You know, you're you're you know, you're kind of blowing through the money pretty quick." And yeah. I said, "Listen, I'll slow down when I'm ready to slow it down." Oh. <laughs> and, and, and you know, and she's like, she's like, "Well, we got bills to pay." I'm like, "Well, fuck the bills." I'm like, "I need my pops." Okay. <laughs> you know, so, 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 so yeah, you didn't I, say that, so. So, so I think yeah, I've kind of hit the, I've kind of hit that <laughs> that point where maybe um. Maybe going to like a uh, like an addiction group or something. Yeah, like the that. fact yeah, that yeah. you have a place that you are staying in right now means that you didn't really say that. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. yeah. like yeah. Uh, like Kim yeah. Peel, you know. He's like I said, beep. Uh, yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> you know, Seth is just yeah. like that. Like I can't wait for Melissa to walk in, be like, ah. <laughs> well, the, well, see, well, that's why before I start the show, I lock the bedroom door so in case she's watching, she can't come in. <laughs> You know, you know, Seth is addicted, bro. I met yeah. I met your kid the other day. He told me you grounded him, bro, for touching your pop when you first started collecting. Bro. Are you serious, Seth? Uh, you, listen, I posted, I posted. I posted. If I can find the picture, I'll post it in. I'll post it in the Marvelous Knights group on Facebook. It's a picture of um, my little guy, and he picked up one of the pops off the bed and he started running out the room with it. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, where do you think you're going? And you know, he's like, he's like mommy, 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 <laughs> just running out the room, and I took Jason to the house. Yo, fastest way to get to get a uh, to get a uh, Seth money is take his pop, bro. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. You want to get me on the you want to get me on the treadmill? Uh, you know, just fucking like get a rope with a pop and just dangle it in front yeah, of me. Of the I, I've seen Seth run, so it's cool. I, I know he can do it. Right? There you go, bro. I got I got your back, bro. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just say, Seth. Are you not worried about all that weight on those shelves behind you? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, man. I mean, listen, these thirty dollar IKEA bookcases were the greatest <laughs> investment ever. <clears throat> nah, that's, that looks that I like yourself, bro. It looks tight. It, 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 listen, I like it. I'm glad everybody else likes it. It definitely makes it more more appealing. And I'm sure I've said it before, I'll say it a thousand times. I'm sure the last thing that people want to see when they see me talking on this chat is looking at my fucking bed. <laughs> so George, the next evolution in MCE, our next channel is gonna be it's, it's gonna be a freaking group session, right? right? Yeah. Collectors Anonymous, bro. Collectors Anonymous. That's what we should have, bro. Everybody start <laughs> the show. Be like, I'm right. George and I'm an addict. <laughs> yeah. it's, been, it's been 27 go around the days. Room. It's been 27 days since I purchased my last day. Yeah. No, serious though. Like I got I got the what was it? The figure armor box came in on Friday. And, and granted, it's been raining a lot, so it's been hard for me to get my boxes out of the garage and then into the house. Uh but you know, I, I get the box in. I'm excited about the box. I'm taking a picture with a cardboard box, bro. I'm sitting there, I'm like Look at me, I'm sitting here with my boxes. Put all the boxes in the garage. I haven't opened these boxes yet. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm having more fun. I even I put a post in the group. I was like, yo, my name is George, and I and I collect boxes. You know, and I have mad people posting in that thing. They're like, me too. I got the quality cardboard. I was like cracking up. Oh, that's funny. I, I like Marcos's comment. The worst thing a Funko collector can do is think that he can get them all crack babies. <laughs> well, well, Calvin, I got my picks this week, so I got three Prime One Studio statues in, so I'm good for another month. Yeah, you blew your load on that one, bro. Yeah, <laughs> my man called me up and he was like, "Bro, I got them all in." <laughs> that's, actually a, uh, that's, that's actually a really good question. Shadow Thirty Two wants uh, to know if I'm ever going to move to statues, and if so, what line? So, as far as, as far as as far as statue goes, I do have one. Um, again, I'm still trying to rearrange the setup so I can display everything. Um, I do have a sideshow Captain America premium format exclusive. Look at me using the terminology statues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, (laughs) so, um, I do have one of those. Um, I also do like the more budget friendly stuff, which allows me to spend more money on pops. So I do buy a lot of those, um, diamond gallery select ones, those PVC statues, which are like around the 40, $45 range. Um, those are good enough for me right now. Eventually, I might want to step up my game at some point. But um, for right now, I'm just kind of sticking what works bef- so I don't get into too much trouble. I should we say. Get on, we had to get them on Iron Studios Battle Dioramas, bro. <clears throat> you know, the it would be cool on your on your backdrop if you took and put like a statue to stagger the, the display a little bit. I think that would be kind of cool. What do y'all think? Yeah, I don't know if – I don't know if it's – I don't know if the um, – 
if the shelving I bought is deep enough to for the statue, though. I don't know if the depth depth is big enough to support a statue. For for like the diamond select ones that you collect? Oh, for no, for the diamond select ones, yeah, it should be able to fit those. But I have those all in my office at work. True. Uh, I'm just saying, it'd be kind of cool. I have like <clears throat> different things there. I'm kind of want to change a few of my things around so that you can see my little meek pop collection that I have. So I mean, <laughs> hey, Seth, do you have Seth? Do you have like a, a certain line of pops that you collect? I mean, is there? How do you decide what you're gonna get? There's just so many it's, out it's there. What, it, it's what I like. It you know um it's. For, when I first started buying, when I first started buying pops, I basically just started buying everything. I mean, like you, you name it, I bought it. I didn't care what the fuck it was, I just bought it. And then eventually, and and, and it's funny too because if you ask any pop collector, that's actually um, that's exactly how they actually start out. Um, everybody just kind kind of just starts buying whatever that you know whatever everything that they see, and then eventually over time you kind of develop the. Your, your liking for what you like. So I had a lot of Star Wars stuff in the beginning, which I got rid of. Um, I, again, I had a bunch of stuff that I had in the beginning, but now I just kind of narrowed it down to certain things. So it's basically um, Marvel, DC, um, WWE. Um, I do have some of the movie, some of the movie pops that I like and all my Chrome, all my Chrome pops and, Basically, if I find the chase, whatever the chase is, I just I just grab it. I asked that because you bought a Game of Thrones pop, man. It's over. I didn't, I didn't buy a Game of Thrones pop. Yes, the one for the one that was in the last the one that was in the last video, um, my last video that was up. I actually won that in a raffle. Now the reason I bought into that raffle to win it so I could use it for trade bait to get to get something else that I wanted, which <laughs> I did. So <laughs> I don't have it anymore. It's gone. So That's just funny. like that, it was it's, done. It's at work. I do want to mention, Seth, when I started collecting pops, so I went in just going with, all right, I'm only collecting Star Wars. And that, I Star Wars and then just few comic book ones. But my entire pop collection is just Star Wars. I just started at, at that. Like, I I knew if I tried to, like, mix and match it, like, I was already into comics. I'm like, I there's no way I can do pops on top of that so my pops are literally just star wars yeah i mean again it's what it's what you like you're into star i know you're into star wars and i know you're a huge star wars guy so you basically get everything star wars now you know as far you know as again going back to what i was saying i was buying everything up front in the beginning but then i narrowed it down to what to what i wanted mm -hmm. so you know that that again it's just you know it's finding finding your likes so Michael Green says he's uh, he really likes <clears throat> feline related pops. It's like don't ask me why. <laughs> no, dude, they've got some freaking dude. Listen, there are pops out there that I wish I can get my I can get my hands on, but again, it's one of those things like especially with you guys and like especially like what Junior went through where he was trying to get the um the Ghost Rider. It's just being at the right place at the right time and finding something that that's so rare that that pops up and you actually have the opportunity or to obtain it. So, again, that's kind of what I'm hoping for this weekend when we go to uh, Megacon. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that people will just have, and there will be booths, that there will be an abundance of really old pops. And, you know, we'll see, we'll see if they can break my bank. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I go to the cons, and I expect not to buy something. And then if I find something, then I, might be, I may buy it. But... Yeah, I don't go there like with a budget to buy something. Never. I'm all about low expectations. I already know how much money I'm willing to drop <laughs> on things. So, <laughs> but I am looking forward to MegaCon. I'm sad that I'm not going to be able to go longer. You know, uh, but that yeah, I am like excited for problem. it. Yeah, it is. You know, I'm dealing with it. <laughs> uh, Want to give away something else? Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. when you know you have an addiction, bro. If you What's can't up? go to your sister's graduation because of a con. Right? Well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. It's, I'm wrong for even wanting to, for feeling that way. I just, I was looking forward to this, and I was like, oh, when I found out, I was like, okay, no, there's no way. I, I don't can mind go. you. I don't so. mind you feeling that way. Feeling that way is just perfectly fine. But if you actually made the decision to go to the con over going to your sister's graduation, oh, then I'd have been like, yeah, yeah no. that's a, that's an addiction, bro. No, 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 no. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna drive back the same night right now. Yeah. Uh, we have to get up early to go to that thing. Oh. So my, my uh, Michael Green is saying, Seth, I wish I had room for shelves like you, dude. Okay, so just just a fun fact. I'm in my bedroom right now. 
Um, I happen to have a big enough bedroom that allows me to, um, you know, to, to do this. Um, I basically spent the past three weekends throwing out shit, rearranging stuff, moving stuff around so I can make show, make room for these shelves and, and possibly more. I have another case that I haven't had time to build yet. So that case is actually going to come here, hopefully on one of the sides, and I can put my Captain America statue on there. And yeah, maybe I can put some of those um, Diamond Select statues that I have, you know, on here. So yeah. All right. <laughs> here we go. How here we go. The, how do you get the vir Seth? How do you get the Virgin smell from your collection room? The what? <laughs> the Virgin, bro. I'm fucking married and got two kids, dude. I mean, what kind of fucking question is that? All right. All right. You all ready for the man? I don't even know how to go with that one. Yeah. All right. right? Um, all right, let's go uh, with the, the next it. giveaway. Next giveaway. All right, so next thing we're, give, we're giving away is... This is from Junior Statue Collector. This is the Batman Who Laughs gallery statue. Yeah, mm -hmm. those are yeah, those are exactly the ones that I collect. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, that's a nice one, actually. That's a nice piece. It is a nice piece. That's a real nice piece, actually. They made that really nice. All right, so the winner of this one is uh, Talking with Jay Springett. I think it's what we got here. Junk of a Break with Jay Springett. It says, congrats on the 9K. You deserve it. My favorite episode is the Joker trailer reaction. Remember when we did that, Seth? That was pretty fun. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was that was a good that was a good one, man. We had I had fun with that one. Yeah, I had fun too. All right, that's cool. So, all right. So I'm assuming his name is Jay. So we're gonna go with Jay. Jay, congratulations, bro. You were the winner of the Batman Who Laughs, man. That ass piece. Yes, congrats, nice. congrats. congrats. Respect to the 115 people congrats, watching. man. Nice. Batman Who Laughs is getting a lot of love in the comic world right now. Mm -hmm. His first Amen. appearance, it just it keeps going up. All right. All right so, that's good. That's good stuff. let's go to, to the display or nay. All right, let me hey. do the last two at, at the it's, end of the show. It's time for the display or nay. Let's see display or nay. All right, here we go. This first thing that, that came out this week. I thought it was display. You, you would display that? I'm like in the air about it right now. Nope. Man. That's well, how, 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 how big? How big is it? It That's looks small. Thing. It's it's um. It's life size. Life size, but like for yeah. human hands. Didn't they, make, didn't they make like four versions of this thing? Yeah, they have like this that. one. They got the the Hulk size one, but it's not life size Hulk. It's like small. It's a smaller version I mean, of that. I got this. I got this one that Funko put out. <laughs> but that that that's about it. I like so, the um, the legend one is really nice. That's the one I actually pre-ordered. Yes, yes, the legend one is sick. I pre-ordered that one. So, I, I'm, I'm. Is it wearable? No, that's the other reason why I'm not. Very oh, then I don't fucking want it. Then if it's See, not wearable, then fuck my, it. My issue with that with the Hasbro one, like I was I was looking into that one and did a little bit of research on that one. It it looks too much like they just reskinned the the uh, the other one, the other Thanos one. The one from yeah, Infinity I agree with that because wasn't I, I I like the. Like when it was on Iron Man, it looked um, small. Like it fit his like, head. Like yeah, yeah, I would. Iron like, Man I would is like, small. Well, <laughs> this, well, this is the one that would uh, go for like Iron Man, I would think. Yeah, like if this is supposed to be the one for Iron Man, I feel like the fingers are a little too thick. Well, I don't know. I think it look right. I I'm in the air. I don't know whether. It's, I mean, if it's on straight art, and I'm even considering it, then I gotta say that I would display it if I had. I would. It, I, I, I'm I'm changing changing to Nate just for the fact that you can't wear it. You can't. I would if you. I would say if you had the original gauntlet, then I would say as an absolute, <clears throat> it's an absolute yay. But if not, then I won't think so. No. I'm gonna go display because how much is this thing gonna cost? Like it's three seventy, I think. Yeah. Nate. So how much? Three seventy. Yeah, yeah, and if you're giving me some skinny ass hand, and I'm paying three seventy for it. I mm. like it. <laughs> <laughs> sinister, sinister collector, sinister collector. The thing is a little too thick. The name of John Sex Tape. <laughs> hey, that's what you said, bro. Frank, Frankie, Frankie Ortiz is asking me uh, what I wear it. Fuck yeah, I would wear that shit. Like I'd walk around the house, and my wife would be like, "I want you to do the dishes," and then I'd just be like, "Snap, <laughs> you get in the kitchen, do that shit." I like that it has the the light up features on the on the gems. They like breathe. So I thought that's kind of cool too. All right. I'm not spending my money on that garbage. Yep. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's move on. What do y'all think about this one? No. Wonder Woman. No. Uh, I don't like it. No. You don't like it? No. I, like it. I feel like I'm buying like a piece that's going to go on the lawn. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. <laughs> 
that's what I was going to say. That was like a garden it's, piece. It's a, it's a, it's a yard, it's a yard gnome. <laughs> Yo. You put that next to the water fountain or something. <laughs> 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 not for I don't me. know, man. Like, not, I think it, I think it's really that's cool. That's something that, it, that that's something that mom will buy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think it's I think it's really cool that it's like more of that classic Greek look. Yeah, yeah. that looks yeah. like a that looks like a straight up Roman basically statue to me, like one of those things you buy in a in in, in a garden store with vases and stuff. Like Pick this up at Home Depot in the garden section. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just yeah. feel like if it's like that because of it's white, but if it was painted, you may feel different about no, it. No, if it's painted, yeah, definitely, yeah, of course, if it's painted. But if yeah. it's like that, that, but that's what the final product to me is. Yeah, it's, this is what the final product that, that's is. That's what the it idea is. is to make it look more like the like a Greek statue. Like you that's what it is. I, so I feel I feel like it's one of those like um like paint by number statues. So it's like basically like just finish me, and they have like a color code, and you just kind of match the thing, the thing to the part. Yeah, 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 like I don't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> all right, that was pretty good. All right, we all think about this one. That's Who's that supposed to be? Conan. Conan. Yep. That's pretty dope. Yeah, Yo, this is dope as hell. I love yeah, this thing. Good, really good. Why? I I don't know why. He, that looks to good. me personally, the only thing I would change is that I think he should have the sword out and not the two axes. I like the two axes, man. Makes oh, yeah, more, like bar more barbaric. Uh, yeah, but I think he. Yeah, but he's more known for the sword. Ah no, he uses several different weapons. I mean, the sword. Yeah, I, I could, I could see with the. That's the display all day. That piece got to be big. Yeah, who's the sculptor? It's got to be big. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> do you like it, Calvin? Yeah, I do. Doesn't it kind of remind you of um, Caleb Nefson? Yep, that's why I was right? asking who was the sculptor. It looks like something he would sculpt. Yeah. You can't get it, Colin. It's over your, it's not your budget for the year. So you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. How about that? Uh, wow. He's been, he's been holding ass his last week, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's not in your budget list right All now. All right. <laughs> yeah, I love this thing. Dope. All right. All right. You got a little bit of rescue here? Yeah. Nah, that, that, that's a no. That's a no. Nah, that's a that's a no. That's a new. It looks it looks weird. It's weird. That is they have an unmasked portrait also. That's a no. Probably looks even weirder. No, that's a no. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I mean, I like it a little bit. I think it looks good with the <clears throat> with the other Iron Man. When you have them two together, it probably looks good if you had a whole collection of that that series yeah. together. The head, it, the head just looks weirdly shaped. Hmm. That's a name for me. Not not a fan of that. Character. Right. Sinister collected nay for gender equality <laughs> Iron Man. What did he say? He said nay for gender equality Iron Man. We laughing though. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, this one this one comes out this week. I know we looked at it last week. Yeah, that's, that, that's a nay for me. Love yeah, the yeah. updated color. Yeah. I would display it. I would that's display it. That's, that's a nay for you, Junior. Yeah, that's a nay for me. Wow, <laughs> I like it's it. It's not Prime One. I, no, I don't <laughs> like it. So like, but it's it. XM. It's it's a legendary beast. Mm -hmm. But that's not a one four scale. No, it's no. one seventh. It's one seventh scale. Yeah, that's way smaller than the one six scale. Yeah. Is that so? That's that's why yeah. it's an A for you because of the size. No, I don't like its head. The head's too small to me. Really? Uh, mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, head's too, too too small for me. Okay. That looks okay. pretty accurate to no, Yeah, me. I thought it looked pretty no. accurate to me too. No. The one from Sideshow is more accurate to me. Really? Mm hmm Okay. All right. All right, let's move on. I'm, I'm a little bit shocked. Okay. Yeah. No. All right. Mm -hmm. Shall I think about my fist? Yeah, that, that actually yeah, I, like that. I like that a lot. I saw that. That's a nice piece. I would love to get that piece. That's yep, a, display. That's a display. That's uh, isn't that uh, isn't that um, uh, the Punisher's uh, enemy in a way? No, right? No, 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 right? No, no. He he plays he plays a significant role in the actual uh, Infinity Gun. Um, the original, one, yeah. And the original one, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Who's this dude? Mephisto. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Like, you have you have you have the you have the Bowen one, don't you, Calvin? I do. I did a review of it. Yeah, I saw it. I saw that review. That's why I like that piece of real nice. He's on the throne, right? Yes. Yes. Hello, guys, y'all don't yeah. know who Mephisto is. Go watch Calvin's review. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I do. I go into a little bit of history of who he is. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, so I'm gonna, yeah, and loved it. I loved that, it I'm going to get that link from Calvin. I'm going to put that in the description below. If y'all yeah. don't know who Mephisto is, that means John, go watch his video. And that's a nice <laughs> piece too that Bowen did. That piece from Bowen came out really nice. I was actually looking for that piece. Yeah, uh, Medina, uh, not Medina, Medina uh, <laughs> uh, what's his name, John? Mina? Uh, Mena? Yeah. Sculpted it? He sculpted it? Sculpted it. Yeah. We've been like trying it? to get him on the show for a while. Um, I got to double back on that. I'll ask again. How do you like it? Calvin. The statue? Yeah. Really good? Really good? Up yeah, I love this. Okay. okay. You don't know? That's Mephisto. Mm -hmm. They just pulled in Mephisto and then... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. You don't got Brace that. yourself, guys. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. <sighs> All right. Display your name. Okay, uh, let's move on. That, that's uh, America's ass right there. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Like, 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 Japan, like, like, Japan's ass, not America's, bro. Uh, that's a uh, nay for me, man. I mean, yeah. Yeah? It gives it gives a whole new meaning to taking a bite out of crime. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, no, can't have that in here. Okay. You know, I got to say, I just want to let you all know, I put that on there specifically for you two in the in the banter you all have, and you all very much disappointed me this week. So oh, who disappointed you? Why? you well, not nice. you so much, Seth, but you, Junior, definitely disappointed me on this one. I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> all right. Uh, right yeah, right. it looks like she's waiting for somebody, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's waiting for me. Yeah. Okay, uh, John. That one. Peach. <laughs> Peach I saw that, 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 John. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was <laughs> yeah. the day collection, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that would be funny. Yeah, like that could be a collection. It you know, we just tag like all the booty, uh, uh, all the booty poses, bro. Like, we'll get Captain America so on that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they didn't make the the outfit fabric. <laughs> oh my god! All right, there you go. I like I like, Ed, I like Edwin, Edwin's comment. She still got more ass than Captain Marvel. <laughs> That's true. All right. 127 people in the chat, by the way. Hit that nice. like button. Thank you yeah. for uh, joining us, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, I'm, gonna, like gonna, I'm gonna say nay on this. That's yeah. a big name. Yeah. Isn't that a pop? No, uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I, was go. I was gonna yeah. say that was one of the most detailed pops I've ever seen. Right? Don't you ever uh, dare confuse that shit with the with the masterpieces that are behind me. Yeah. He's like, I do not want to have any kind of character in my piece. Just a similar looking face and a different hat. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, the troll's in. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. K-S-F. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is he talking about this because we're about, uh, delayed here? Or is he talking about the other, the anime statue? No, no. Yeah. You can see this one is what he's talking about. I imagine. Yeah, the, the YouTube's um, on, on this one right now. To um Terrell, we didn't do um Game of Thrones last night, but I think we're planning on trying to do it tomorrow night. Yep, tomorrow eight thirty. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night eight thirty. What what? Let you guys know. All right, so no for this one. This is uh, part of that series, um, Attack on Titan. So I think it's cool. Somebody needs to tack that shit and get it in the garbage. Wow, I'm saying. Dang. Okay, Chad, how about you, bro? I'm gonna go with display because everyone's hating on it. There you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna hang with Chad on this one. I like it. All right. We should do like tiebreaker. We got enough people to display. do a tiebreaker. Display. Oh yeah. wow! Absolutely. George, wow. didn't you own this? No. How how original? Another Batman. Whatever, man. This is a good. This Batman. looks like the one you had, George. No. Uh -huh. Which one I have? The one that you sold a, a while back. Uh, it has a similar what? face. Has a similar what? portrait, what? but different Batman. That looks good. It is a cool looking Batman, but again, you got enough fucking another Batman. Batman. Whatever, man. Yeah. Jim Lee, bro. This I put. I definitely yeah. another Batman. I look good next to the Hush. Poof. I, I'll listen. I like it, and I'll display it. But I'm just saying, there's enough fucking Batmans in the world. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'll display it, but I won't buy that. Yeah, but the whole the whole point, ain't like, are you gonna like buy it this time? If you have your collection or not? If you have the room for it? It's just so. What size you, is what, this? What size it? is this? It's, I believe it's gonna be one six. Yeah, is this part of the the whole one six DC line, right? I think so yeah, the weird yeah, part is they actually yeah. have two different designs. I, I gotta look read into it a little bit more. I'm not sure if it's they're choosing which one or the other, or if they're actually gonna do two different Batman's. Because that, yeah. that logo at the bottom left looks more like they're the animated logo. It's the it's the um no, it's the eight years year logo. Yeah. Okay. That's a nice Batman. It's the one six guy. That's really nice. Yeah, I like the way that looks. All right, about that one. 
<laughs> George, what are you doing? Bro, actually, this is from the anime Evangelion, right? So, Listen, I, 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 okay. You know, but do you, do you want it is very centrally posed, bro. <laughs> do, you, do, you want, do you want me to go there or not? Why not? Go there. I'm, putting, I'm putting it up there. I'm, I'm right. laying up. So, she's, so she's basically sitting there, like, do it on my lip like a milkhead. So okay. I'm just, wow. I'm just saying. Wow, that, that went further than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Wow. I mean, I you, get John, you get John to blush like he is in the air. Yeah, bro. It's like you go too far sometimes. Whatever. <laughs> that, that's his goal, you never, bro. You never I, go know. Far. I mean, we can, we can easily get George to blush, but when you get me saying, well, I'm like, man, Kanoa, I'm like, yeah, do it, Seth, do it. <laughs> <laughs> George is like, come on, John, shoot up. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. This is what came out this week, man. This to me was. That's, that's, I was I was really shocked. I was right, man, the only thing that just came out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I man. I'm, really I'm, I'm, I'm torn between this piece, man. Yo, I am not torn at all. I would. That, that no. just went six to twelve. Bro. That's like I don't know. I can't. I can't do it. Then I could do it, but I just can't I do it. Crazy. It doesn't go with any. It just just doesn't go together with anything of the line. I just don't. So, feel like so you Starfire fans on the panel, uh, Chad, yeah. is this yeah. accurate? I don't care if it's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> is this comic book accurate, Chad? I, I don't. No, I mean, I'm really. sure an artist has probably drawn her one way or another like this. I have no idea, but it looks great. This okay. is what Chad's like this. I was, I know, I was right, really right. shocked that this was sideshow. I, I was shocked. Yeah, I just don't feel like it. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel. I mean, if she would have been posing something different to me, then yeah. But I just feel like she's just. If she is. I mean, she's phenomenal, but I just yeah, George, like, you wouldn't be allowed I, to display I, this. I just don't feel no. she she goes with with the with the rest of the. She's just chilling. It would have been better her standing doing something or a pose and her laying on the right. I, so I what feel are you supposed to go with? You know, uh, I don't think they made the other uh, Titans yet. Yeah, that's another thing. Like even if you wanted to put him with the rest of the DC girls, she won't even fit in there either. Well, I don't know. She's, she's I out mean, of pocket. Yeah, and, and this is from this is from Teen Titans, right? It, it, she's in part of Titans. I, I, she could be part of other teams. I'm not really familiar with with her as a DC character. I know she's a Teen Titan. I know she's a Teen because Titan. Because the word Teen, the word Teen, and when you look at this, <laughs> you know, uh, that, not, yeah, that's what I mean. That's a one. That's a woman piece. It's not a teen. It I, I, doesn't I, I, look I, like I, a teen to me. Just I don't know. Have you have you been to a high school lately, bro? <laughs> yeah, but still, it's like, it's like the same controversy we had with Wonder Woman. Yeah, but Everybody I think so she was younger, but Wonder Woman should be. Uh, that's what Yo, she's called Wonder but, Woman. But she Chad, Chad, Mar 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 or correct me if I'm wrong. She, the Titans event are, are eventually older, right? Yeah, they, not... well, you have Teen Titans and then you have Titans. They're yeah. two different teams. Two different teams. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's mean, when they're she's older. Part of Titans. Yeah, older, she's older. part of Titans. Yeah, yeah. when they, when they're older. Well. I oh. think somebody, I think somebody in the in the chat said it best that her face kind of looks like Christy Alley's. Christy Alley. Hmm. Well, someone said this piece is no worse than Aspen. I, I I get what they're saying, but Aspen is an adult comic, though. Yes, yes. Well, That's, I mean, Titans is right. more adult than than Teen Titans. I mean, I mean, I think it's just that you guys are really hung up on the way she looks in the cartoon, right? I don't, I don't, no, no, not even oh. that. I mean, I just feel I look. If she was, look, she would have been posing some different that than laying down on the fire. Maybe something dynamic, or maybe something you know better than that. Then yeah, I think. I mean, again, she's beautiful. I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, Hold yeah, on. I mean, yeah, yeah, I love it. She's a great piece. If it wasn't a Starfire piece and just a regular piece, would you display it? What do you mean? Like if, if if for instance you didn't know this was Starfire if you just saw it and just saw this piece would you just like I read it by the Twitter hit Starfire in this one the Twitter hit Starfire is way better than this piece in a way to display it yes have you I don't know if you got a tweet ahead Starfire George that you can no nah, I got one I got just pull out bro yeah we hit one thirty we hit one thirty yeah. yes oh, I think shit. I think the tweet ahead Starfire, I think the tweet ahead Starfire is more comic book accurate. Okay. If you look at the tweet of his stuff, do you not do you not like this because it's a sensual? This is a no, beautiful. No, 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 I mean, no. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it, George, and I'll send it to you. I mean, you wanted to play at the end of the day. My, the the my feeling behind it is is that I would prefer her to be in a more uh, dynamic action pose than. than yeah, the yeah, yeah. Me right. too, and that, I agree with you. It, only because I like my combo characters looking like they're in battle. I don't need them looking like that. But uh, I mean, it is a pretty piece, though. 
So I'm not hating on it on that level. I don't so, blame anybody uh, for wanting to, to, to display it. He is it. definitely not ready to fight. No. no, yeah, no, like, no, no don't, 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 don't. For, uh, for Frenzy Collect, that whole flame on the bottom is a fart suspected. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody, somebody said it looks like the thing in her hand is a giant bugger. So uh, I oh, can't man. wait to see the exclusive, and I hope it's a switch out left arm. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, uh, George, George, I'm going to send you this real quick. It's, yo, Junior, it's hard for me to put it on screen, bro. So don't, don't worry, man. Dick can't put it on the screen. Dick, yeah, it's very yeah, difficult. Right now, right now, I pulled up the Starfire from Tweet Ahead, and I love that pose. I love the action pose. That thing looks amazing. I'll buy the Tweet Ahead before I buy that one. Yeah, Dick is saying she's about to battle that D. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, all right, I mean, so we have spent a lot of time on her. All right, all right. Yeah, we gotta hurry we up. Definitely gotta get to go to sleep. It's nine fifteen. Let's do it. Move it on. <laughs> all right. So I have the uh, crossbones. Crossbones. I've had this one uh, when it was digital way back when. When I started collecting cool. news. That's cool. I like. I like that. That's pretty dope. Dope, right? Big yeah. A big ass chain gun. Yeah. Yeah, he looks dope. I love this piece. If you put I that next, will. if you put that next, if you put Starfire next to that, it's like he's going to shoot his load onto Starfire. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you after nine o'clock yet? Oh yeah, it's he's like, hours. Okay. He's like, he's like George. You asked for it, bro. I'm saying, right? <laughs> That's fucking sick. It's like unleash the fury, the shit out of that. Is it? Don't God, poke, don't poke the bear. What is it? Don't, don't poke the bear. Nah. Yeah, don't poke the bear. Yeah. Dude, I don't know. You like, you like, you like this? No, no, no. I don't like that one. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I don't like I didn't hear that's what a I for me. That's the name for me. I wish you could, could see another angle of it. Yeah. That's the name for I me. I like the whole Saturn looking ring thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that, uh, yeah, that Silver Surfer is freaking sick, man. That thing is awesome. All right. That's the name. Yeah. Chad, what you think, bro? Mm. Uh, I'm not too sold on the base. Yeah. yeah. And it's too plain. It looks plain. It looks too, too simple. <laughs> plain. I don't know. I think maybe it's just the paint job on the base. It was just, I don't know. I'm just not sold on the base. I'm going to go nay. Yeah, I'm going to go nay, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go nay. I don't, get, I, don't get the, I don't get your comment, Junior. Like, you know, how does, how does like, like Silver Surfer in general is, is playing? No, I mean, it's the base. It, just, it like, doesn't do anything to me. Everything that they put up with Silver Surfer, he's flying on his board. There's nothing that, that I'm going to base. That's, that, that, that's what he does. Yeah, that, I know, so but they my, should make so it that man. Like, the only Silver Surfer I like, what's that, what's that diorama, um, George, with um, when he's flying around the, the – when he's flying around the – He's flying around on the surfboard. Uh, no, he's flying around on the <laughs> – What's that, Vin? What's the Vin? The one with Galactus. Galactic? Galactic. Galactus, yeah, yeah. yeah, when he's flying around him, that's a good piece. I like that. That's something that I can that, – that Galactic. That's I, I would say nay on this one. I agree with what I, the, what I don't like about the base, and they do this on a couple other statues, is when they make the you know a background like that. So like the planets look really small, and the whole idea is is that he's so far away from the planets that they're that tiny. It um, doesn't give that appearance. It doesn't they, yeah. give that. Yeah. And they never do, in my opinion. Like the same thing yeah. we saw with that Spider Man last week that they put that yeah. building. And it just doesn't look right. And the same thing with the XL Mary Jane Spider Man. Yeah, I didn't like that. They either. they should change out Saturn and put him on Uranus. <laughs> Say, bro. Yeah, you dumb. You dumb. I'm saying, bro. bro. Yo, Seth is like stuck at the fifth grade humor, bro. Like, he just cracks me up, bro. He makes me laugh. That's a, silver, that's a silver surfer coming out of a pool. Have you seen that one? <laughs> I love this statue. Yeah, I, I love think that about statue this too. I, I think that's the best yeah, super girl. super girl that's out there right now. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty dope. And this I, is again the one yeah. six line from. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting her, Calvin. That looks amazing. I'm actually picking her up with the flash. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually picking that up. I think that's the best super the, out there right now. The troll, the, the, the troll super tits. <laughs> and finally, they make her with a dynamic pose, not in clouds, not holding a damn animal, just uh, <laughs> just a freaking pose breaking. No, you know, no birds, no doves. No, nothing. Consider, just like wait for battle. You consider this dynamic? Her coming out of that? I uh, love it. Yeah, I love this piece. This piece is, look at the base, base. different, a different the base. base. Is cool. yeah, this is really cool. This is cool. It's a ship, right? And yeah, I love it. I love just it. standing there. Display. She just broke through that. She landed. She crash landed. <laughs> She's but well, who, who's the sculptor? Right. You know, George? Um, no, I, I, I didn't catch it with the sculptor. Or, or when I did see it, it was a while back. <laughs> yeah, I definitely yeah, guess. Sculptors. If anybody in the chat knows who the sculptor on this one is, go it should be chat. nice seeing all of these in New York, man, together. Yeah, I would be. I would definitely like to see this one. Yeah, I definitely. I'm definitely getting that one. I can't wait to see the painting. I can't wait to see a painting. 
So, John, you're not feeling this one that much? Or hearing the tone in your voice? Um, no, I just was curious. I think I, I think it's a display, but I feel like uh, I was just curious about Junior's like saying it's dynamic. I, I don't. I love I it. Find it. I find it still kind of just. Oh a, my god! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Her hair. Her hair Thanks, moving. Sinister Collector. Whatever. It's a Mexican cabin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that piece is amazing, bro. Yeah, I like it a lot. All right. And her smirk, too. Look at her face portrait. It's like, I haven't seen a Supergirl with a portrait like that, man. Like, I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't knock down Prime Ones and, and Sideshows. And I already saw, yeah, yeah, nah, nah. I mean, I'm not talking about the first Sideshow one. I'm talking about the, you know, the one, the, the new one, the one by Archer. I like the portrait on, uh, that Archer did. Yeah, but this I portrait guess. is more of a smirk mean look than that. Hey, I'm super good. I'm going to kick your ass. Smirk smile. <laughs> this one, she has that. I'm super good. Like I'm about to kick your smirk ass. That she's about to kick your ass. She's got more, more, determined. Like, she yeah, more, more determined. She has a more determined look. Yeah, more determined face. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, she don't, she don't look like she's going to kick your ass. She like she's going to beat your ass. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I like about that smirk. All right, all right. All right, cool. <laughs> side to side oh, with God. the Superman. Tell what do y'all God. think about this one? That shit is an injustice. Take it off the fucking screen, Jesus Christ! It's Prime One. Come on. Yo, first of all, I got I got a little uh, uh, some I forgot who it did. It could have been the sculptor or somebody, but some dude got upset with me when I when I talked about this one at uh, at Winter Wonder Festival. You know, and he told me that I shitted on his work. I'll say this: the sculpt is fantastic. It does look like the character. And my issue with this whole statue is, is I don't like this version of Superman. That was it. No. That's all I said. I think and the guy's work was fine. I don't know why he got upset with me about he it. Yeah, actually, he actually uh, text he uh, messaged you. He said yeah, he, he commented on that video, you know, and he was just like, "Yo, he's like, you're shitting on my work. That's the only reason why I'm not giving this a thumbs up." I'm like, I'm "Not shitting on it." I'm like, "It's not my fault that you're working with this design." I'm like, "But then, then, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to me because I'll fucking take a hot steaming dump right on top of it." Hey man, hey, <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I, it's like not. I, yeah, come on, Seth. I'm thinking about getting this unless they keep coming out with more of the Injustice League line on the one fourth scale. So you I, like I, this, uh, I, I, yeah? I mean, yeah. I, 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 I love the Injustice League line. I play the game. I love the game. I don't. Do mind you like the it. statue? I like the statue too. Yeah, I actually yeah. like the statue because I play the game. You guys are not familiar with the game. No, story. I've played the yeah. I've played the game too. I just I, don't like. I just don't like Superman. I like the fact that they're making a line of that game. So if they keep on with the 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 one fourth scale of this so i might be going i like the wonder woman too wonder woman looked amazing for the chad, what quiet chad what's up uh, i'm going well junior likes it so i i can't like it so <laughs> <laughs> i like it you know it has a lot of switch outs you can switch out the chest a lot of switch outs i have um the hands the head i do like the switch outs yeah the switches are amazing yeah. has three s goals has two chest s switch outs uh, has uh four arm switch outs it's, yeah, it's coming really, really, really deep with a lot of switch outs. I, like, I agree with Terrell. He's saying nay only because the artist got his feelings hurt. It's called fine. constructive criticism, dude. If you can't fucking take it, deal with it, dude. You know how many people get, dude? I get uh, criticized. 140 you know, in the house. I get, nice. Damn, I, get, I, get, I get criticized. I get criticized on a fucking daily basis because in, on my videos because of my weight. Do you think that shit fucking hurts me? No, I move yeah. on with my life. He's lying. He goes to the bathroom and cries, and George has to bring him tissues. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I do, and I use my own tears as fucking lubricant. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, hey, George, everybody you know, don't like this, but then again, wait, now that I know you don't, have, you don't have them up, but you also have the Injustice Brainiac. That thing's a beast, and it's from yeah, the Justice game. Injustice Brainiac does look amazing. dope. I, I, that, I, I think it looks dope. I just, I'm not a fan of this particular suit. Now, they did the same with the, with the classic Superman suit or the new 52 or whatever. I, I think it would look better, in my opinion. I just don't so like So, to clarify suit. for this artist, you like the sculpt. You just yeah. don't like this 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 scheme. Exactly. And like, when right. I saw all the switch outs and everything, I was like, it looks pretty dope, actually. I just don't like the scheme of the suit. So, I'm like, it's okay. Right. Okay. You know? Otherwise, I'll, it'll be, I'll display it. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I don't know who this is. I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's dope, though. I like it. No, it's not. Yes, it like is, it. bro. You don't like that? No, I think it's like from it. Magic the Gathering, actually. I don't like it. I'm not sure. They, they, need to they need to gather that shit back up and send it where, back to where it fucking came from. It oh, looks man. like it could be from Diablo, too. Yeah. Not, not that I it is. Diablo. It's pretty cool. It's Thank cool, you, right? Thank you. Go ahead. I think it's cool. Yeah. I mean, I like. I, it reminds me of the Quarter of the Dead. Um, just... Uh, that's exactly what I thought, Calvin. I knew that's why I figured you would like it. 
Yeah, this is like the quarter of the dead. I agree with you, slideshow. Yeah, it the looks scale like... on the on the on the snake skin and everything. That thing is sick. With that pattern, really good. Mm. Ah, I think like, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, I saw like Clash of the Titans. Yeah, like that, like a Medusa. That Medusa, yeah. So, really cool. Right. Seth for president. That, 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 would be a, that would be a nay for me, George. Yeah. All right. I, mean, I don't think it's a bad statue, but it's just I don't really. It doesn't really speak to me. No. All right. <laughs> the only statue that speaks to you is Gambit, anyway. So. Hey, how'd you know? How'd you know? <laughs> Yo, you know really know me, Calvin. I know they like it doesn't speak to me. It doesn't speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know why when I see the statue, I just think of like a really bad flash dance or something. Or just the way he's like, I don't know. Like oh. No, I don't know. It, I think it's okay. You do need uh, some, some, some water and yeah. parks behind the Yeah, back. right? <laughs> it's, not so much, it's not so much Iron Man. It's more like I am Iron Mouth. <laughs> but you, but you, see how, you see how the fingers on that glove just look a little skinny on the other one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Hey, well, George, you put some, you put some real fucking hey, bugs up see, tonight. Junior, see, Junior, you don't feel this yet, bro. Wait till you see the movie. Then you're going to be like, yo, I'm, I feel that shit. I don't want that. I don't know. I'm not a movie character guy. Uh, I don't buy movie pieces. Okay. I'm that. not into it. I don't buy you know, movie pieces whatsoever. I just right. feel like it looks like pottery. <laughs> like pottery? That's just the, the color. I, I just need to see it color painted. That, that yeah, if it was painted, it might look better. Yeah, it was painted. Yeah, but yeah. But, uh, nah, every time I, mean, I think of I, Iron Man, he's on his knees. Oh. <laughs> Archangel wrote that. <laughs> it's a cool sculpt, but I don't think he's like he's about to fill Daniel's balls. Come here. Yeah, he's about to get the Infinity Nuts. <laughs> wow. The Infinity Nuts. It's physical <laughs> exam time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's putting on his glove. No, he's getting yeah, he's getting ready to put um Ant Man Ant Man up there. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, that is funny. <laughs> so we're gonna get a lot of comments from artists, man. We can do that. Sinister said oh, Tony Paul. Cool. All right, so this is what you were talking about, George? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Man. I am not feeling oh, this at all. No, yeah, no. I think that's cool. Not only that, I think it's dope, bro. I'm not. All right, Maybe man. because of that painting, I don't know. But this reminds me of the one Jr. already has. Right. Okay. Which the the, the, the Boeing statue that you have. Yeah, Same that's what I said. Right. That yeah, it said that it reminds me of the Boeing statue and the base. If you when you turn around the base, it looks like the Boeing base, which you're right, and it has a sewer cap. I said that already. It kind of reminds me of the Boeing statue. The same thing. Right now, quarter scale. I imagine this is ginormous, but no. Now, the bike is way different, though. The bike. They, he has the classic. You know, mm -hmm. he's the classic ghost rider. He has the with the bone looking. You know front and everything and the and, and now i'm still thinking my xm is still the the top dog uh have you, have you do you have a picture of it painted uh uh no yes, yeah, there I is have. one actually the, the the there is a rendered one out there i got I it straight one. up when i saw yeah, the rendered I version i didn't like it as much with the red yeah. and jason i do I, I agree with jason i like the head sculpt on here it's it's mm -hmm. nice but mm -hmm. calvin you have that you have that xm ghost rider yeah Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know that. I'll display that all day because if you've seen this render with the with the fire, like if it's like if they do a ladder feature, they did like a picture of it with the whole chain and everything ladder feature on the whole thing. That thing looked. Dude, that thing with a light that 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 bananas. section with, light, with a light bananas. up feature, that thing would look sick. No, the bananas. Uh, if you look for it, Calvin, yeah. with the ladder feature, that thing is. Barbara, Barbara says it looks I, nothing like the Boeing statue, but to me, I think it has that same. I sent you the pictures, uh, George. Yeah, I don't feel like this one looks like the Boeing statue either. The Boeing you know, statue has has him like coming off the rock, where it's like like he's jumping off. I believe. Yeah, I gotta go re look at it. But the the moment I saw it, that's what I thought. To me, I think it's it's pretty unique in that you have him drifting like that, and it's building up the base, and I think that's really dope. That's yeah, cool I sent you the picture, though, George, the, with the with, with the thing on it. The okay. Yeah. Right. And once I'll, once I'll you once you get another rendering where it's painted and everything, that'll change my mind. So the painted version that I saw, the, the digital painted version that they saw, I wasn't feeling it as much for opposite reason. In my in my opinion, I felt like having, you know, glow in the dark uh, or or light up uh, tires and and the chain and all that. I wouldn't even know how they would manage to pull that off. But I just felt like it took away from it a little bit. I like I like the way the XM Studios one is painted. Yeah, I think that's kind of neat. <laughs> Archangel, if you have the right amount of drinks, it looks like Bowen, but then so does my wife. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that right there is the comment of the night, in my so, opinion. Holy see, uh, Barbara's uh, uh, confirming that the Bowen is straight up, straight, straight, and going up, and uh, and this one is on a U-turn, so this one's like sliding, so it's different. But if, 
Yeah, if you turn the base though, when you turn the base and it has the bars underneath it, the same right. thing Boeing's base has. You see the sewer cap? Also, Boeing has it, kind of like has it. And then uh, yeah, and then mm -hmm. she, then Barbara is right. The he's he's popping like he's going straight up on the on the thing. He's turning. He's making that turn there. Right. But yeah, it is aiming. I mean, this of, is extremely dynamic. But yeah, um, I still like XMs better. I don't know. I like XMs a lot. I love the XM pizza no matter what. Yeah, that thing's always gonna stay with me forever. All right, so that's it for the display name. So let's get on to our uh, last giveaways. We got two of them actually. All right. But uh, did we? Oh, we're not. Do, uh, we're not doing um. Are you still down? Are we tonight? No, no, not tonight. Okay. Not tonight. So clearly, next... clearly, 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 we're not down. We're not down. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk a little bit about the stuff here in a minute. I'm just we'll get these giveaways going. I hope people want to see this stuff. So we got the uh, Venom Gallery statue. This is also by Junior. Thanks a Thanks. lot, Junior. You're welcome, guys. Anytime. All right. That's so, awesome. Pretty badass piece. Oh, yeah, I've, seen that, I've seen that one in person. That one's actually really nice. All right. So, all right. There we go. Um, so this is Anthony Lee. It says, congratulations to your channel. My favorite episode is the interview at Warner Festival 2019. Calvin is enthusiastic and well-prepared uh, with questions. Collected on a budget segments. Equally informative. I gave you guys one guess on who, who selected that one as the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm really? just messing with you, bro. I'm just messing with you, bro. Really, Joey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just messing with you, bro. All right, so Anthony Lee, man, congratulations, bro. You won the Venom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, had to, I, had to, I had to pull your chain a little bit, man. <laughs> you see, the rest of us are here, and then Calvin's all the way up here on this pedestal. So it's like... <laughs> that's, that's messed up. Yo, Kathy, you look, Kathy, look a little green with envy, bro. Nah, me, I'm good, dude. That's I'm just going like, to rate your like like my, He's like, my interview skills are on point two, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and nobody man. says I had a glass of wine. I did not drink. <laughs> How about that? Did not drink in Japan like that at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. You it. didn't drink that much in, in nope. Japan. I was the one drinking. Yeah. I was drinking enough for the both of us. Yeah, you were. You were. <laughs> you definitely were. <laughs> All right. Uh, final giveaway is from Collector Zone. And this is the Saito Collectibles Captain America 1-6 uh, scale figure. What? Right. what? It's an awesome piece. All right, so this one, the winner is Anthony Rogers. We got two Anthonys that won. So definitely, when you comment, make sure you tell me which which Anthony you are. <laughs> All right, so Anthony Rogers, you got massive congratulations on 9K subs. It keeps going up because you guys are doing it right. Uh, as far as my favorite episode, my favorite is generally the latest, uh, that geek show. But the one that resonates the most is your unboxing of the Obi-Wan Kenobi statue. Nice, cool. man. Thanks, bro. Wow. So... Fun. All right. Um, congratulations, bro. You won the Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale figure of Captain America. For all of our uh, winners, and, and after this video has already been posted, I'm going to leave a, a comment in the description with the email that you guys can uh, shoot an email over us to. We're just going to need your name and your address uh, so that we can uh, send you the packages. So congratulations. All right. Congratulations to you all. Um, we love you all. Thank you for continuing to help us grow this channel at the pace we're going. Um, we couldn't do what we do without you guys, and you know this because of you guys. This is what makes it worthwhile doing for us. So, so thank you again. And hey, you know what? I see 10 Ks right around the corner, but I say fuck that. Let's go shoot for 20 and make yeah. 20 happen right, right yeah, now. I, I'm glad George is uh, uh, mailing everything out and not dividing it up like last time. <laughs> at, least, yeah. at least people will get the right stuff. <laughs> right. We did yeah. that two times in a row. <laughs> I can't believe oh, I man. did that. <laughs> That'd be funny, yo. But big ups to Junior and Collector Zone for hooking us up with these things. Absolutely, too. guys. Man. Wow, guys, you know, thank you with the team, man. You know what's up. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a loser again. John, Vic, yeah. John, Vic wants to know if you're going to MegaCon. Um, nah, man, I'm not gonna be able to because they're going up on a weekday, and I'm and I would need to be at my sister's graduation too. <laughs> so, uh, um, but maybe next time. Is there one in Broward? Yeah, that's the that's the the, the Florida Supercon. Supercon. Yeah. So so when is the next time you're gonna show up there, uh, John, at one Supercon? of the events? Yeah. I don't know. I like SDCC, and I'm I'm been interested in I'm I'm interested in uh, New York Comic Con to see what that's like. You guys came back, you know, all giddy from that one. So I'd like to see what that's up. 
But um, who knows, man? I'll make it a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of weeks too I'm to a, go to. I'm going I'm to show up and just give you a hug, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can't wait till I go to New York and I can wrap my big arms around sexual chocolate. Oh, my God. <laughs> I do, man. I miss you, dude. I miss seeing you, man. <laughs> oh, we gotta have some fun. I only have a few drinks there, I bet. Oh, yeah, we're gonna really. have more than a few drinks, my man. Hey, Calvin, you're seriously you're you're, you're captain. You breaking that captain statue, bro? That was definitely a, a lot of a lot of people's comments. So I thought that was cool too. <laughs> that time Calvin went full gangster and dropped that shit. <laughs> yeah, I won't be dropping any more statues. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but man, I don't know. Maybe I just got a bad one because the other ones look pretty good, you know? <laughs> now you're They're trying. trying to get you back in, bro. Maybe, you know, maybe I just got a bad you know, statue. You know, why don't you go and buy the um buy the uh, the Spider-Man Hobga, the what is it, the Spider-Man Green Goblin one? Yeah. Like, they posted? Go get that, man, and see what see what's going on with that. You saw the the bit the video, the picture. It looks awesome. It looks it it, it looks interesting, need, needless to say the less. But hey. you know, but the, but then again, you know, it looks good on picture, it might not look good in person, and who knows, it, it probably won't live up to Calvin's standards. <laughs> Forensic Collectors asking if MCE is going to SDCC this year. Absolutely. Already got our tickets. Can't wait. Yep. It's gonna be good. Um, what else we got? I'm excited for MegaCon, even though I'm only going to one day. <laughs> I'm gonna make it happen, bro. I'm gonna do something there. <laughs> Videotape as much as I can. Actually, what day are you doing? we're going Thursday, but but you know that the, the press passes they, they have this thing where you have to pick it up at two o'clock in the afternoon, the day of the convention. So like the whole day is gonna be shot. So Seth and I are gonna go and do something else. Yeah, I wouldn't you know. say the whole day is. is yeah, I wouldn't shop. say shop. But the, going to the con is actually. You know? So if you guys, if so, if you guys are in the Orlando area and you don't feel like going to the con right away and you want to meet up with us, me and George will be walking around Epcot getting our drink on. <laughs> what? What? I like that. That's what I'm saying. So if you want to come and have a drink and you want to drink around the world with MCE, get your ass over to Epcot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Next question in the chat's gonna be are you buying the tickets? <laughs> 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 Next giveaway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll Next giveaway is gonna be big though, man. I got something big planned for ten thousand. So. What you give a ticket to San Diego or something? Uh, mm. ooh. I'm not gonna say it is, but it's big. It's, it's we got big giveaways, thing. yep. For ten thousand and eleven thousand. Both. Ten thousand and eleven thousand big giveaways. <laughs> the troll said free drinks on in. <laughs> That's all it requires, man. Hey, let's do it. Calvin has high standards on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Standards are a good thing. Yeah, I'm right. looking forward to go to WizardCon. Never been there. It'll be my first year going to WizardCon in Philadelphia. I'm gonna nice. check that out and uh, show you guys. You know, get some video footage, see how it is. But uh, when is WizardCon? Uh, I think it's June seventeenth. June 17th? 16th, yeah. Right. So a couple of weeks from now. So I'm going to head out there and check that out. I'm going to be doing uh, what Seth said we don't do. I'm going to be doing statue hunting. Hey, Seth should have been with us uh, in and New York. York. You were hunting your ass off in New yeah, York. Uh, yes, I was. <laughs> yeah, you were. I'll I'll be in, well, I, listen, I will be in New York this year. I've already bought my ticket. I've already booked my flight. I'm, and you I'm will see me hunting there too. So, <laughs> Chad, you going? You going to make a con, Chad? Uh, well, I have to work Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But I've actually have made a, I guess I've made plans with another fellow comic book guy down here in South Florida, and we're gonna go ahead and Sunday and just make the trip up for Sunday. Nice. And we're gonna go Sunday one day and then come back. So I plan on being there Sunday. So All right. if you guys want to link up with me on Sunday, look for. Look for me Sunday. I'll be there. If not, if you see someone that looks like me, about 20 pounds bigger than me, that's my brother, and he'll be there every single day. So definitely approach him. Say what's okay. up. He, he's not in the chat tonight, infamous, but definitely go say what up to him. But I'll be up there Sunday. Let's do it. Is he going to be there on Thursday? Yeah, he'll be. Yeah, he's going to be. He goes. He leaves Wednesday night, so he'll be okay. there Thursday. Oh, yeah. We oh, tell him to look up with us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> George Jackson, George, did you show the the, the Sumi Broly production? The production pieces? No, I didn't show. That's on my. That's on the Instagram page. Okay. Yeah, they're up there. Those things are dope. Yeah, things are amazing. Yeah. That's um, Ro, uh, uh, Ro Moreno wants to know what days we're going to NYCC, and is there a place where you guys will meet? Um, so, so right now, I think me and you, George, right now are just set for Thursday, right? Thursday and probably Friday. I'll probably get in. 
So probably Thursday and Friday I'll be there. Definitely. Yeah, days. yeah. My my plan is to be there all day Thursday, and then my other plan is for Friday. Um, for any subscribers that are in the New York the New York area that want to come and meet up with me, I'm gonna try to assemble like a massive um, pop hunt, and we're gonna go hit up a bunch of stores in the city. Nice. Oh, oh. be like pop hunters assemble. Nice, bro. Right. Do you think pop hunters assemble? Yeah, see, I'm with you, with you guys on Thursday. I do got tickets for Friday too, but I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna make it Friday. I'm gonna end up enjoying the city on Friday myself. True. I want to go around and start doing some things with the wife and, and my son. Going around, and doing a couple of things, you know. Go yeah. to the park, eat some New York hot dogs. Y'all, y'all need it. What y'all need to do is those are best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all need to go check out um, two thirty and fifth. It's a rooftop bar, bro. But it has like a great view. Of the Empire State Building, bro. And if you go check it out at night, man, you all get a real nice picture with that in the background, man. That's I think y'all should all go do yeah, that. More beautiful places. Real beautiful places. Go to Hell's Kitchen, you get the good food. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Spider Man 616 there. asks, What happens when there's only one chase set? <laughs> Who gets it? Um, at that point, it just becomes a full on fist fight, and then the last person standing gets it. So I hope everybody's ready to fucking slug it out because <laughs> Actually, I never I'm thought about that. Person. Thank you for putting that in the chat, but now I kind of want to go to this and film you well, guys just in case so, something so like to, this happens. So to be so to keep so to so to be on, to be honest, for the most part, um, I have come across um, situations where I have been out with people and we have come across a chase, and both of us are kind of just like staring at it. And usually, depending depend, I usually say this, and you guys can believe me if you want or not. Depending on what the chase is, usually ninety five percent of the time, I pass I pass it up and let the other person have it. Pussy. Yeah, I, I, I think that was total bullshit. <laughs> I don't see Seth doing you that. You got a John. You got a cold there, John. Depending, depending, yeah, I said depending on what I said depending on what the chase is, and if it fits, if it fits in my collection, then then yes, uh-huh. I will, I will, I will go after it. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't, then it's a, it's you know it's a pass. Oh um, my god! Now I, I am definitely gonna take and go with you, Seth, and I'm gonna be filming you, and I want to make, hey. make sure that happens again. But do you know what? The, yeah, it. but again, but the odds of finding a chase are always so slim to none. Mm. So you know, it 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 it's one of those rare rare things that like never hap- You know, hardly ever happens. I should say. Yo, Vic says Seth don't pass anything but gas. <laughs> well, George, George would know. George sits next to me most of the time. <laughs> Yo, George, you remember I lost that, my sense um, of smell. <laughs> you remember that this is like the, you should handle like a toss paper rock scissors but uh remember that that miller light or budweiser uh commercial where they're doing paper rock scissors and then it's like the very last beer and then these two people show up to the can and they're like okay there's paper rock scissors so it's like paper rock scissors shoot and the one dude throws his uh oh his paper and the other dude chucks a rock at him He's like yo but i threw paper and i threw a rock i remember that commercial yeah i remember that that shit's funny that was pretty well cool. somebody read archangel's uh comment <laughs> Talking about the chase, my wife loves to role play where I chase her, but then she calls the police and I spend three months in jail while she bangs the whole church softball team. Such a Damn, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't bro. even know what to th- Oh my God. I don't know what to say on that one. I don't know what to say on that one. That made us all blush. <laughs> so when you guys are landing in New York, when you landing Calvin in New York? Uh not where I did last time. No, um the same when they flight your flight. Oh, I, I get the same time, George, right? Uh third Wednesday? Wednesday. I yeah, be there by yeah. three. Yeah, we're, we're, we, we're gonna stay downtown this time. Like right outside of like Times Square, right? In that. Oh, that's good then. So then we'll meet up Wednesday night to hang out. There's nothing to do on Wednesday. So oh hell yeah. So I'm gonna, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna cross over on Wednesday. See, I'm gonna be there already. I'm gonna already be at the hotel already. Oh, hell yeah. Clock. So I'm gonna be walking around the city 40 seconds Street already by like four o'clock. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, you guys are you guys are staying yeah. in the city. I'm not staying in the city. I'm staying in um I'm staying in Queens. Oh, you're in the Queens. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think you got a nice little train ride there, buddy. Well, it's only 20 minutes. It's only a 20 minute train ride. Yeah, depending on what time you leave and come back. Yeah. Yeah, but that's a good I thing. Think- uh, yeah, because I'm gonna be up there. So when you guys land, let me know, and then I'll meet you guys somewhere like in 42nd Street, man. Nice. And I'll get something to eat before Thursday. So. The only the only thing I'm hoping is that I'm actually staying. I'm staying from. I'm flying in on Wednesday and I'm flying out Sunday. My only hope at that point is that the Yankees are are in the playoffs at that point, and there's a game. There's a game at home, and I can go to one of the games at night. So uh, that'd be Vic cool. says Yankee fans ain't allowed in Queens. I guess the same thing can be said that Mets Mets fans aren't allowed in the Bronx. Yeah. The, um, by the way, the Joker comes out that same week. Um, the Joker. That we're there. 
What Joker? The movie. The movie. The movie. Oh, the movie Joker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to see that. Down to see that? Yeah, yeah. We had better luck than we did with Venom this time. Venom. <laughs> I'm I'm glad I missed that in the theaters. I'm good. All right. Did I see that in the theater? Can't remember. Hey, hey, George, yeah, that, uh, that Batman Hush, man, you were right, man. That thing is mind-blowing. It's an amazing piece, right? It's big, though. Well, I, bro, I love that cape. That cape that, that cape is freaking stunning, bro. <laughs> that thing was not fun putting it on, though, I'll tell you that. I told you. Yeah, I got it in, but, yeah, that was no fun getting that thing in there, bro. That thing was not fun. But, yeah, man, I'm happy with this. This is the last Batman, man. This Batman is amazing, bro. This Glad is- you like it, man. Yeah, the last Batman to the next one, bro. No, I'm not. I'm not, man. I got a uh, hand over Batman. That's it. Yeah. All right. All right. What you what you all got? What you got going on set this week? Um, tomorrow is actually a very big day for me. Tell us why, Seth. So, we um we decided to change the logo for what's popping because um I got tired of it looking like it was saying what's pooping. <laughs> Uh, for those who know that joke, please. <laughs> um, but the uh, but we uh, I actually had a subscriber um, reach out to me and want to change my logo, and he sent me um, what he redid, and I just I fell in love with it, and George really liked it too. So that also inspired me to redesign the intro for my video too. So I went ahead and worked on that all weekend as well too. So tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., go to YouTube, check out the video. The logo is in the video. The logo is also on the thumbnail, too. Please go check it out. Um, and, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know it's um, it's going to be a little bit of a different change of pace, but, you know, I hope you guys like it. Um, and, yeah, and then also I want to say thank you to everybody that watched my video from last week. I think it's almost at 5,000 views, which is, like, my highest rated video wow. Good yeah stuff. congrats so nice thank congrats. you Th- thank you everybody for congrats. um for the support on that i really appreciate that and yeah i mean me and george are just looking forward to meeting up with everybody at megacon on uh on thursday nope good stuff good stuff archangel's comments have me cracking up you i know right <laughs> <laughs> for, the a- for the ai for the ai doll oh no yeah, 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 yeah. i don't even want to repeat that one uh <laughs> uh Calvin, what you got going on brother I mean, I don't have anything in uh, this week. All right, but um, you look sad. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. You, I will be it. living vicariously through uh, look, Jr. And um, look, he's rubbing his hand. He's rubbing his arms like he needs it. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking uh, like an addict. Hey, like, hey, oh, George, you, you, you mentioned earlier, Figurama. Is that Nat Dragon? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! You got it in. Yeah, um, it, Emerald, it I might, Emerald. I might be there. Um, I might be there on Saturday. I'm not 100 percent 100 percent sure yet. I'm looking to see if I could find a um, another room to book because I'm getting a lot of people asking me if I'm going to be there on uh, Saturday too. So I might I might try to stay the extra day and go on Saturday too. All right. Hey Calvin, uh, Jonathan E. Ebling asked if you that's a Cota Bakia Scarlet Witch behind you. No, that's a premium format um that's from the original avengers line from sideshow i love that piece that's a nice one very very nice uh chad but you got chad bro i want to i want to see if we can get together and do a video on uh the watchman man i want to i want to read the book and and talk about that so definitely get that set up with your boy if he wants to do that we can make the moment we get done with this we can go ahead and set that up i'm all about that and And he is in. He said, if there's anyone that can sell it to you, it's probably him. So we can make that happen as well. Uh, For me, pretty much I got my show coming out Wednesday on my channel where we review all the books that came out last week. Also, as I mentioned earlier, we started talking turtles on my channel. So turtle talk on Thursday. Cowabunga. What? Cowabunga. (laughs) Cowabunga, dude. No, for sure. And... This Wednesday night, I was actually invited by uh, another comic book YouTuber. His name is John's Comics with Kids. If you haven't checked out his channel, I definitely highly recommend it. He has a great channel. He's always talking about different comics. But he's asked me to join him, and I just pulled out a random one. But we're reviewing all the Old Man series. So 
old man Logan, old man Hawkeye in the current old man Quill series that's going on. And old man Hawkeye, this is just a cool cover that they had for that series. I'll just showing that off. But yeah, that's everything that I got going on this week when it comes to comics. I've been doing a lot of reading. So if there's anything you guys want to talk about, just let me know. Or if you want to add Watchmen, let's add it to the mix, man. Let's make that happen, George. <laughs> All right. I got the digital copy, so I want to take it and get that up. There's like 12, 12 comics, right? Yeah, 12 issues, yeah. So All you right. guys want to read the entire uh, uh, run and then talk about it? Or? Yes, I want to read the entire run and then okay, talk cool. about it. So we have a full thing to cool. talk about. Doing cool. the one issue at a time, I think it's just not enough meat. Yeah. To do something, you know what I'm saying? All right. What we can do is break it up into like three segments, I think, after that. Because that way it allows us to like dive into like the three sections. Okay. You know? Yeah. Like try to like, di- you know, make it maybe even four, but I would say try to make it like three parts. Okay. And then allow this to, you know, because it will be, it'll seem a lot to rush through 12 comics. You know? Yeah, not true. Talk about it. But if we all read it and then like divide it up, I think it'll be great conversation. All right, cool. I like that. I like that. Uh, Junior, we got some things coming out this week. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got a couple of things we did, right? Yeah, we got the uh, unboxing of a couple of statues. Um, yeah, so that's good. Um, I'm waiting for uh, po- uh, Poison Ivy from Sasha supposed to be released this month. I haven't heard anything from her yet. Um, also, uh, I also canceled uh, two items from Sasha, which I'm not going to get, which was the Venom bus. And uh, um, Batman and uh, Superman that right. I, t- I took them out of the equation for now because I want to get some other pieces I'm looking into. But uh, yeah, I'm supposed to be getting Poison Ivy and um, Green Arrow. Hopefully they come out on time so we can review those because um, hopefully uh, they do a great job with Poison Ivy. Okay. Uh, how about this video, Joe? How did it go? I did it okay for you? It was good. What happened? The unboxing? What's yeah. Noise, man? Huh? There's a lot of background noise right now. That's not me. Did that? Did, yeah. did, did you like it? Hi uh, guys. Yeah, the, you knew who it was, right? <laughs> I knew who it was. Yeah. Uh, just had to make a comment about it. The 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 unbox. Yeah, the unboxing did came out good, man. Okay. I have that up. Unboxing, so. I'm gonna try to have that up by the end of the week, so that's gonna be coming out. Um, okay. So we have an unboxing video this week. Uh, we have the Game of Thrones season eight episode five. Episode five, right, John? Episode five chat tomorrow. Yeah, but- uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna chat about that tomorrow, man. Looking forward to it. Got uh, Eric and Ryan gonna be on with us yep. and uh, Seth, so Seth. nice little panel. Uh, <laughs> Game of Thrones fans, <laughs> we're chat about it. Talk about that massacre. Yeah, man. And, and yeah. Uh, just, how we feel. Right, that's gonna be a good good episode. That was gonna be at eight thirty tomorrow, so mm-hmm. it's gonna be live also. So tune in eight thirty tomorrow. Uh, on Wednesday, I have the collecting news coming out, and like I said before, we also have. Um, Wonder, uh, sorry, Wonder Festival, MegaCon this week. So we'll have some videos from MegaCon. So and, uh, and that's what's coming out. Uh, Arch Archangel so, MC has it all: pop culture, comics, statues, and can't forget racism on a budget. <laughs> oh my God! Really? <laughs> oh my God! Oh, that yeah. is effed up. By the way, <laughs> damn. Dude, people will never right. let you live that down, man. Uh, and uh, before we go, I know we are addicts, so. We are addicts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those, are, those are the hashtags, yo. I'm not an addict. I'm a collector. Or addict yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Junior. Uh, I'm from MCE, and I am an uh, addict. <laughs> yes. Um, Chad, um, someone asked if you had yeah. your own channel. And yes, Chad, you do have your own YouTube channel. What is it? It is 90MF Comics. You, I will go ahead and type something in the chat so you guys can follow me. Just 90MF Comics. Definitely come hang out on my live chat Wednesday night as we review comic books. Nice. All right. So, again, guys, there is a bonus giveaway going on right now over at the Collector Zone channel. So, you, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys to get to that. Head over there, follow the instructions, and you can win one more item from there. So, awesome. Big, big ups to Collector Zone for giving us these items for the giveaways junior thank you brother for always helping us out no, man. Oh, guys you know i'm here thank you appreciate that so you can catch all our collective videos at mcecentral.com i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and if you're new here hit subscribe and we'll be back at you with another that geek show next week monday nights 8 p.m eastern standard time right here on the mce channel so until next time guys keep it marvelous keep it marvelous keep everyone. marvelous guys Keep it marvelous. Oh my God. <laughs>